Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Good morning, good morning. Always happens. Just so I can't come on air, start having a coughing fit. Poor old Hannah thought I was, I went to the other room and started coughing. She's like, you all right? It's because I've done a bit of cleaning before the show and it was a fumes and thing. Anyway, good morning. New year, new craft, new year, new hobby, new year, new... What was the other thing? Oh, well, today it's new year, new applique and new year, new 3D sewing. I think that's what it was called, wasn't it? Anyway, early bed. Here it is. Now the early bird, something we bring to you first thing in the morning. Uh, we show you the normal price and then we show you the price that Hannah's going to go to. These are two different bits of fabric, just so you know. Um, one has got cream at the background and one has got grey as the background. Uh, you get half a metre of each. Uh, <clears throat> Life's Recipes Checkerboard Fabric is called. You would be normally and will be again tomorrow morning, £13.98 if you bought half a metre of this and half a metre of that. Today, however, what? £7.99. For both. You get both for £7.99. Both of these for £7.99. Look, they are different. They might not look that different on the telly. This one's cream. This one's grey. 100% cotton. Uh, machine washable quilting weight, 44 inches wide, all the way from Wyndham's Fabrics. 
Uh, now, if you multiply the bundle, they are already cut. So if you buy two of these, you'll get two of those, you'll get two of those. Already cut to half meters. Uh, Life recipes, nah. Just use them as like a lovely blend. Oh, listen to me. <coughs> Hannah, have you got your frock ready in case I get a keel over? <coughs> right. Seven pounds and 99 pence. I'll be all right then. I'll be fine then. Hannah's got nothing to wear. Sonjar's watching. Donna says good morning. Christine says good morning from Cleethorpes. Annette says morning from County Durham. Margaret says morning John, Hannah and Jesse. Sue says morning John and crew. Nice to see you again. House back to normal now. Bring on the spring. Well, it was warm enough this morning, wasn't it? Laurie says good morning John. Lovely shirt. Have a great day. Sue says morning John, Hannah and Jesse. Louise says morning John. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. New Year, new craft. New Year, new hobby. New Year, new skill. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Happy New Year. Anna says, New Year, new carrots. She's had a lot of carrots already this year. She started on her new, not a diet, lifestyle. Healthy choices. So she's had uh, overnight oats with carrots already this morning. And she put too many carrots in, thinking that would make it sweeter. She's got, she had a curry for a tea last night with salad and rice, a little bit of rice. But the rice wasn't ready when the curry was ready. So she had the curry and the salad. And then, oh, oh, and I said, when you say salad, what do you mean? You know, thinking of that lettuce, lettuce, right? And then, uh, and then she had the rice later. And then today for her lunch, she's got a lovely looking salad today. Oh, it's coronation chicken. Brilliant. It's only day two. 7.90. Hang on. <coughs> it's only day two, but we're on the 4th of January. Oh, so you do it for a week just to reset and then you start it properly. So you actually started last year. Claire says, good morning. Hilary says, morning. So the first week you just read and you take things into consideration, drink water and get your kitchen cupboards ready. £7.99. Having said that, she said, are we going to the cake shop? Because we, oh, not yet. Not now, not yet. Seven, nine times when she can have a treat later on. Not yet, though. It's a what? Always new bakery opening in Redditch, apparently, near here. What, here, here, this bit of Redditch. Oh, town centre. Oh. 7 99 keep going through it. Oh, listen to my voice. I do apologise. <coughs> Message on my bottom. Uh, morning, John. Looking forward to a fabulous show. Oh, Heather. So am I. My lovely. Thank you. And we've got Morning, John and team. Another lovely shirt. Love it from Carolyn Kent. Thank you very much indeed. Doesn't look very pressed today. Good morning from a windy Devon. Now, Judith. Is it the weather or you? Be the weather, I imagine. Anyway, keep going through for this. But you get both of those for seven ninety nine. <coughs> Should have been thirteen ninety eight. I'm really sorry. <coughs> we've done we've done our lateral flows and everything. Don't worry. It's just I, I, I'll tell you. I shall tell you what it is. Right. When I came in this morning, I decided we had a bit of time, so I've cleaned the toilets and I used some very strong bleach to clean the toilets. Then went back in later on, and the fumes have got to me just before I came on air, and that's what started me off coughing straight away. So it'll go, it'll clear, it'll clear, don't worry. I've got two, hasn't it? Chantel says, morning everyone. Eventually the Christmas tree is down so I can get the sewing machine back in its place. Oh, now, is that why you took yours down then, Hannah? All of Han Hannah's never had a real Christmas tree before. She only ever had um, artificial ones. And she said, what she said this, right? So last night she grabbed hold of one of the, she went to throw it out. She grabbed hold of one of the fronds, right? And all the needles just fell off. It was bare. And I said, does that, does that, Han? Seven, nine, nine, they're everywhere, she said. Absolutely everywhere. Oh, no. Lowe says, morning, John. Normality resumed. Back to work today. Oh, Lowe. <coughs> That's bad. She came back from Scotland yesterday and now she's got to work today. These are two separate fabrics. Look, that, that's cream, that's grey. The background's cream on that one, grey on that one. <coughs> You'd use it what, sorry? That's a lining. Yeah, lining fabric would be lovely. Half a metre of each you get on there. 
Well, when you get it, is this price? If you like after midnight tonight, at midnight tonight, that will go up back up to thirteen ninety eight. Just so you know, both you get, then you're getting half meter of that and half meter of that iPad stand or cover or or uh, some chef's trousers for your Barbie doll or a checkered flag for the start of the scale electrics. Is it checkered at the beginning or the end? I never know. Jesse. Oh, they do the checkered flag at the beginning and the end. Beginning of the end. <laughs> She's been very deep all morning this morning. I, I was talking to Catherine about something and Hannah went, oh yes, that's like, does a tree really shout when it falls down in a forest? Uh, anyway, seven nine. Yeah, of course it does. Seven ninety nine. <laughs> uh, Judith says good morning John I know the things I have to put up with Judith this one's cream this one's grey mm? she's very philosophical she says today she will be philosophical when she has to do all her own work for her MA I tell you she's got so much to do how are you did you do some last night oh no phones in the gallery Seven ninety nine. Jan, this is the other Jan. Says good morning, John. Everyone, could you say hello to my granddaughter Marissa, who is with me today? Marissa, good morning. Especially when you frighten the life out of her now, isn't it? Well, well. How wide to be? Forty four inches. Forty four inches wide. Look. There you go. There's the cream one. And there's the grey one. There you go. Hundred percent cotton, forty-four inch wide, machine washable, quilting weight. On the tell, oh, you can see the difference. On the telly, there's not as much difference. So that's cream and that's grey. Half a meter of each you get. Think of all the other things you could use it for. If a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, is it still a man's fault? I don't think that's what she was saying. Doreen says, good morning. Okay, right, I'll fold that one away. Lots of that one in baskets. Please check out. Remember, there's only one PMP for the whole day. So it doesn't matter how many times you check out from midnight to midnight. So if you come in and buy that, and then you come in and buy a sewing machine at 12 o'clock, it's still one PMP of three. I don't know why I went like that then, of 3 95 <laughs> Right, shall we have a look at today's menu? Here we go, we've got designer fabric bundles. Now, the, the brief was two metre bundles, but some of them are two metres and some of them are a metre and a half, aren't they? There's only two that are a metre and a half, apparently. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, apart from the extra wide backings. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, gorgeous bundles coming up this hour. Then at nine o'clock, we've got a fabric sampler bag with Catherine Wright. Here it is. It's from a gorgeous book. Lovely, isn't it? Very intricate, I'd say. That was very intricate. Then we go to a sewing room tools. Now I've got a big iron, a medium iron, and a steamer. I've got the big iron. I've got the gold iron. I've got the... Yeah, no, I didn't say small. Steamer. And I've got the circular cutter from Fiskars. And I've got threads and all sorts in that. And then at 11 o'clock, well, door stops, right? We're making a brand new door stop. This is New Year, new, that, there it is, the bakery. You've not seen the bakery before. If you want to get that early. Right, I, 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 do you know what I'm going to do? I'll explain that one when we go to the menu, right? Because, because I need to explain how you buy that one. So I'll do that when we go to the, you know, not the menu, the... um. Website sort of thing. Then we've got sewing machines at 12 o'clock. 550, 570, uh, 720, no, 550, 570, 780, and the 320. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. There she is, studio. That's what Jesse said there. I just said out loud. There she is. Good morning, John. Love you from Blackpool, says Patricia. The other Jan, Jan Hill, says good morning, John, Catherine and team. Right, that's emails. You can send a message on Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out there. 
Or you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. There it is. Remember to send in your films for Search for a Sewing Star. You could be on this table with me. Anyway, there's the white box on the right-hand side. You can send your message. They are the ones that come across the bottom. Now, I got a lovely message yesterday. I do, I do explain. Hannah cannot read out all the messages. We get so many messages. And a producer's job isn't just sitting pressing buttons. She runs the whole show. So we do apologise if we miss your message. That's all I'm saying. I don't want anyone to be upset. Hello, I'm on the bottom. What does that mean, Hannah? Oh, on the bottom of the screen. Okay, never mind. Right, let's have a look at what... Uh, if you go, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. In a minute, there'll be two columns, right? Uh, the first column on the left-hand side will be show deals. That's everything we've shown so far. Then everything on this, uh, this one, pre-order, is everything we have over the next five hours. So there you've got your fabric bundles. Beautiful, gorgeous bundles there. Two metres, uh, William Morris, there's some Cafe in there. There's some Liberté, brand new Liberté. Then there's your, th there's your three ones, your one and a half ones, because they're under £15. Then we've got extra wide backing from Tula Pink, Saturdays. Then this is the bag that Catherine's done her bag from and all the bits and bobs you might need. Some bundles there. That was one she's used and she's going to be using the one next to it during the show today. Uh, so that's C Catherine's first ad. There's, oh, now, there's another book along the same lines, which is available on its own. But if you buy both them together, you can save 10, over 10%. If you buy both the books together, and they're beautiful books, I tell you now, beautiful books. Then we've got tools. Tools, 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 tools. Tools, 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 tools. Uh, steamer, hand steamer. Fisker's rotary, uh, uh, Fisker's circle cutter. You do get the blade with it, it's not on the picture. I pick up the rose gold. Now, there's only 10 of those left. The rose gold iron art. Uh, there's only 10 left. We only launched it, what, the day before yesterday? Uh, anyway, uh, that steamer, there's the steaming iron. So I think there's only four of those left now. That's it. If you haven't, if you're thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I? Maybe today's the day. Then we've got all of these tools, tools, threads, 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 threads. Money off if you buy that whole set there. Hello, Elliot. Then, oh, that was a loud noise, wasn't it? And he's fixed the light as well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, what was it I need to talk to you about? Oh, the panels. That, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to go through this slowly, right? So you see the door stop instructions. <coughs> We're selling those on their own because it's the same instructions for every single panel that we've had, sort of thing. So the basic instructions, so that might say haberdashery and florist, but we're actually doing the baker. But that you do need the panel to go with that. But the reason we've done that on its own is because, keep going down, keep going down. Right, keep going down. Here we go, here we go. So now look, if you just want to buy the bakery, if you've already bought one of these in the past, you will already have the instructions. So if you've made uh, the florist or the haberdashers or any of those ones, you will already have the instructions. See, So you can buy the panel on its own for 11 99 totally enough to exclusive to Sewing Street. Then, or if you haven't got it before, you see the next one along, that says the bakery plus it's the instructions and the panel there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're paying three pounds for a pattern. Instructions, sorry, instructions. They're 9 99 on their own, so buy them in the bundle. Buy them in the bundle. Right, now, if you're thinking, oh, they're gorgeous, I could do with a few of those. There's a whole pa a bundle of four panels. Now, there's no instructions included in there. They are just four different panels. And it's the haberdashery, the florist. I'll to tell you what the other ones are later. So that's why they're being sold like that. Uh, the, the bakery's not in the bundle, is it? I don't think the bakery's in the bundle. I think it's the haberdashery, the sweet shop, the florist, and one other, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Then in the last hour, sewing machine's got all the needles. All the... Oh! Oh, I've got a bundle there. There's a big bundle. Where's the big bundle? Oh, they're all going in a funny order, aren't they? Hang on. Sewing machines, 550, 578, 780 and 320. 
Then there's more fabrics. Uh, where's the big, there's a big bundle of needles as well. Maybe it's that one, they just haven't done a picture of them all. Anyway, we'll come to that at 12 o'clock. Okay, okay. Uh, we've got a bundle of about uh, nine packets, haven't we? Anyway, might have sold out, might have sold out. Shall we start? I've, I'm exhausted already, I've peaked already. Uh, remember, new year, new craft, new hobby, new skill, new you. So where should we start? New fabric. Oh, wait, oh, I love this. Echinacea. These are the big flower heads, the Echinacea flower heads. Look, you get them in four different colourways. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Oh, okay, so when this, when this sells out, right, we can't do a bundle of all of those. One of those, one or two of those must have sold out then once, once, we've, once this bundle's gone, they'll be sold out. Aren't they beautiful though? I love them. And they're hand drawn. They originate from when she did a drawing, a pencil drawing. She brought the pencil drawing in when we were sewing quarters. She brought the pencil drawing in. Okay, that one is available separately. And that one is available separately. Those two are only in this bundle. We haven't got them anywhere else. And there's four bundles left. That's it. Two metre bundle. Two metre bundle. You're loving it. You're, I think that's lovely. So now you get a half metre of that, half metre of that, half metre of that, half metre of that. If you do buy two... They're already cut, so you'll get two half metres of that, two half metres of that, two half metres of that, and two half metres of that. £30.76. and pence. I know. Angela says, morning, John, and the Sewing Street team. Lovely to be watching the shows on a wet and windy day in Somerset. Andy Lynn says, morning, John, and all the team from a very cold and snowy Aberdeen. Looking forward to the show today. Three of these left. Right, okay, I thought that, so it, it, just so you know, just so you know, I, 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 it wasn't me being awkward, I promise, but in the, when the, we showed you everything, right, I said, where's the big bundle? There is a big bundle of machine needles, it's got 10 packets in it, but for some reason they've only taken four pictures. It could be that, you know, who knows. It's first day back, isn't it? First day back today. We'll get it sorted. Good morning, John and everyone. Chilly in Derbyshire. Another coffee and watching you. We oh, don't have too many coffees first thing in the morning. You know what it does to you. Anna Maria Horner, flower heads. Oh, Carol's messaging. Wish me luck as I'm giving blood today and they're going to see if I'm okay to donate plasma as well. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, you, you're very good, Carol. Very good. Gorgeous. I'm Rhea Horner, 30 pounds and 76 pence. Half meat, half meat, half meat, half meat. All the echinaceas. They've just called it flower heads. Lovely. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say what Hannah said in my ear, but she named that one. Echinacea flower heads it is. More people got in that than got in the basket. <laughs> I think he's got it written on the side, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. I've got Tilda Windy Days. Oh, who was it that had wind earlier? In Devon. Um, which one? Is there more than one? I think it's these three, but I might be wrong. Is it not these three? Oh, I got it right. At the very beginning. A very good place to start. There we go. This is lovely. This is new Tilda Windy Days, but I think there's something else mixed in here. So this is Windy Days from Tilda, that's Windy Days from Tilda, that's Chambray, and that's Hannah, Hannah 
No. What's that one called? Hannah Basics. <laughs> so, Tilda, Tilda, Hannah, Chambre. Beautiful. I'll just put those in shot. There you go. Good morning, says Pam Mini Harney. Will you waft one of those, please, says Lynn. Which one do you want wafting, Lynn? Oh, actually, there's no point in wafting the echinacea because that's sold out now. I'll waft this one. This is rather beautiful, isn't it? Tilda. Isn't that lovely? So you, in the bundle, you get half a metre of that tilde. You get half a metre of this tilde. Shall I waft? Half a metre of that one. So they're both tilde. Then you get your gorgeous chambre from Rose and Hubble. And there's your Hannah Basics there. So you get all four of those. I'll just pull it into shot, shall I? There you go. You get all four of those. Twenty-four. Uh, hang on, twenty-four forty-six. That's a good price for two meters of fabric. So you get Tilda, Tilda, Rose and Hubble, Hannah Basics from Stoffer. At 24.46, that's a good price. I love those colours in there. Beautiful. I like, I really like that one, Hannah. That's lovely. Very, very nice, that one. You're more than welcome. The lady. Hang on then, let me just fold this one up. <laughs> what song was that, Hannah? She just went, lady! <laughs> no. This is the new lifestyle, you see. Right, you heard that one goes over there. Uh, the lady. Oh, that lady. So in this one, you get a tilde beautiful florals. You get a Tilda lady crossing the bridge in her umbrella. Then you get a lovely soft pink for Rose and Hubble and a Hannah Basic in the beiges. Oh, I've not done a very good display of that. I do apologise. Yeah, there we go. So there she is with her little pink Mac. I oh, know, look, the umbrella's windy days, you see. Oh, yeah, look. The dog's cocking his leg there. Look, there we go. Beautiful. 24.46. 24.46. It's not a quilt block. I'm just laying it out like John Lewis's window. Yeah. Beautiful. 24.46 for two metres of fabric. Tilda, Tilda, Rose and Hubble, Hannah Basic. Single figures already on that one. Okay, I've got two William Morris bundles. They're already going on pre-order. I'll do those after we finish Tilda. Yeah, it's a very friendly little crow, that one. Oh, no, look, she, the crow's going after the hat. No, trying to save the hat. Okay, that's that bundle. Then I've got the other tilde, which is here. Oh, now, this one, you get three tildes. You get three tildes in this one. <gasps> Same price. Same price. They must be making a saving on this one then. So you get this tilde. You get this tilde. You get this lovely tilde, which I think is very um, liberty. And then you've got the blue. Cadet. Cadet. 
It's lovely, isn't it? It goes perfect, perfectly, that. Well done, Hannah, on another excellent bundle there. She's not feeling it this morning. Oh, no. Moving the Christmas tree has given us some allergy issues, but at least it's gone now. Where, where have you put it, by the way? Because if... No, 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 they, they collect them. The bin men collect them. Except, our, you know, yesterday I was boasting about how brilliant our bin service was. Well, they didn't collect the green bin yesterday. They only collected the recycling bin yesterday. Right, OK, let's do some William Morris then. Two William Morris. They're already going these on uh, pre-order, just so you know. Which one would you like to do first? So this is Strawberry Thief with a very soft, blush background. Okay, then we've got the silver. There, there's the silver, it goes beautiful. Then we've got the blush, plain blush, look. Picking out the background of there. And then suddenly we've got a rose hip. William Morris. Well, uh, how do you know? Hannah's just said, Hannah's just said, don't you, they won't use as much of this one in the design, they use that for something else. Yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit. Or a lot of that and just a little bit of those. Okay, and where's the design to go with then? In Hannah's head, the design doesn't use much of this, it uses mainly that with a little flash of this. I'll tell you what, there you go. Let's put that there. Then we put that there. There you go. In Hannah's head, that's how it works. Everyone's got different heads, just as well, she says. It's nice, though, isn't it? Lovely. Already going on pre-order, that one. Oh, Joanne, I says, thanks for going, for going through the website in detail. Oh, our pleasure. Our pleasure. I'll do that more often then, Joanne. Every time I'm on with Kat, I'll do it then. Anyway, not every time you won't, John. She's so... Yeah, she's in control, you see. What's the matter? Oh. Yeah, she's tied in one corner of her house. She puts pictures on Facebook. It's literally just the corner of her bedroom. That's it. So, <laughs> so all the work she's got to do, she then lit a candle, sat in bed and looked at the tidy corner. This is a gorgeous bundle. This is another William Morris. This is Hannah's favourite of the whole hour. Fewer than 20 of these already. We didn't, well, she made lots of them because they're her fa it's her favourite, right? So you get this William Morris here from the new range, Hawkdale. It's lovely, isn't it? Then, uh, uh, then I'll do with this one, Slate. Just put that one there like that. Then she's put plain white. And then this gorge, I love this one. Oh, even Jessie said how well this one goes together. This one's called Artichoke. Look, there you go. How gorgeous are they together? A mood board for Hannah's next extension room, when she has an extension built. You'd have to go up, wouldn't you? I don't think she could build down. The whole road would fall in if she built down. You could buy next door and knock sideways. Well, now you've got a lodger. £22.46. It's lovely, isn't it? Make sure you check out on that one, though. Very, very popular. £22.46. Beautiful, isn't it, that one? Oh. 
Have you had a row yet? Not a full on row, not till he moves in. Gorgeous. Look at that bundle. Beautiful bundle there. William Morris, Rose and Hubble. Artichoke and seaweed. Oh, not only does it look good, it sounds like, a, like a, one of Hannah's new recipes in her new lifestyle. Isn't the artichoke upside down? Yes, it was, Jan, but that doesn't matter. You can have it whichever way you want, can't you? Beautiful. £22.46. That slate is more bluey than grey, isn't it? Four left. Four left. I just, a breath ago, I said there were 20. And now I'm saying there's four. Love these bundles. I'm waiting for the seaweed, artichoke and strawberry thief fabrics to be delivered. Now, did you buy them on Christmas Day? You must have done, because we launched on Christmas Day, didn't we? Um, I noticed on Facebook last night, somebody said that their Christmas Day orders had arrived. Which is fantastic if you think the warehouse has been shut. So I don't quite know how that's happened, but well done. £22.46. Absolutely gorgeous, Jan says. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, moving on. Oh, more people need that. Need it. More people want that. <laughs> you need it. You need it. You need it. Right. Liberté will be this one and this one. Oops. Right, now, you've got one white in there which is not Liberty, but the others are Liberty. Do you want to do the blue one or the pink one first? Blue one first. Hannah's called this one Spring. Artist's Home Spring. <laughs> this is... This is Sketchbook, I think this one was called, wasn't it? So, yep, Sketchbook Bloom, that one. Then the, Now, that's Liberty, that's Liberty, that's Liberty, that's Rose and Hubble, just so you know. This is the one we had yesterday in the Sally Ann pouch, but we had it in the orange and pink, didn't we, yesterday? This one is called... Oh, I would imagine this one's Nikki Wildflower, just as a guess. Hang on, let me have a look at this one, I can tell you. This one's Yolandi. I saw it at the costume designer called Yolanda. She did a lot of for the ballet. So they're ones, they're ones that, you know, like we had the Sally Ann yesterday. They're the ones that are named by other people. Oh, yes. H Hannah's not been able to have the Liberty yet. It's only been me and Kat. It's only been me and Kat had the Liberty so far. These would be her, oh, uh, it's such a beautiful collection, I can't tell you. We, I don't think we've got the whole collection anymore, it's so popular. Hang on, didn't you do this on Christmas Day with me? Oh no, this one was before Christmas, wasn't it? Sorry, this was before Christmas, yeah. Yes, that's right. So I launched it with Kat and then it was put away for like two weeks and then I did it again with Kat on the 18th. This is H Hannah's first... First time she's been allowed near it. Good morning, Jesse, Hannah and John. Another new shirt. No, no, it's not new, this one, Derek. Oh, I'll tell you what, Derek. I'll tell you what it is. Or oh, do you go with that bundle, don't I? Um, this one I got when you were back at school. So you won't have seen it because you'll have been at school. Beautiful Liberty bundle there. £25.96. The two-metre bundle's always very popular. Oh, she's hoping, well, will the postman be late? Somebody told me, now hang on, yesterday, I'll just tell you, somebody said on the show yesterday, not on the show, somebody messaged in the show, say, said the postman were off today as well. They said the postman went in. But I did have a delivery yesterday from one of the other, like Yodel or something. I had Amazon, man, on, on um, Boxing Day, Boxing Day, after Boxing Day delivering. Yeah. <laughs> It was delivering, uh, that, that, that he was delivering seeds for the birds. Oh, um, yeah. And some of those Japanese things you put on the bottom of your feet to get rid of the toxins. Well, no, I ordered them just for Christmas thinking, oh, these won't get here for ages. There's no rough. 
There's no rush. Am I not what? No. No, because I always choose things to buy from there that have no postage on them anyway. So if it says you're being charged for 95 postage, I don't buy it. I go, I get in the car and go, I go into the, <laughs> into the shops. Carol says good morning. Oh, Sally. What's Sally's message then? My partner is a postman. Oh, all back to work normally say. Now, Sally, Hannah, that's her dream. Of all the uniformed people, right, like policemen, firemen, sexiest uniform, postman in Hannah's book. And I have got, I have got the, I've, we've got the sexiest postman in our village. Nick, the sexiest postman. Right, okay, moving on. Yep. Pink one. Now, again, you get three Liberties and one Rose and Hubble white. Sunset, for some reason, this one's called. Okay, so the, this one is called... They're all part of the Sunset Colour, but I haven't got a name on that one. Yolandi, this is Yolandi, because that was the same as one in the last one. This one here, it will be, that'll be Begonia, I imagine. Let's have a look. This is trailing what? Trailing Marigold. And that one there is Caroline Campbell. And then you get the Rose and, Hub, Hub, Rose and Hubble white to go with. Oh! Hang on, Jan had a Royal Mail delivery on Sunday. Patsy says, good morning, John team. Loving the Liberty Spring fabrics. Aren't they lovely, Patsy? Sunday? But Sunday was New Year's. Oh, I, I'm so confused about my days. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway, beautiful. Back to normal now. Everything's back to normal now. I'm taking the pop-in light and Christmas lights down tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they haven't been there long at all this year. Margaret will have a, will go crazy with me because she likes to keep them up till 12th night. 25th, no, not 25th, 25.96. These are all half metres, by the way. That's just why I folded it. That's, sorry, there you go. Ah, it's lovely, that one, isn't it? Sunset, that one's called. From the artist's home, the brand new collection. Marion says, morning, John. I'd love that Artichute grey colour for my new sofa. That would be nice, Marion. Yeah, she needs more than half a metre, though, for a sofa. Yeah. Oh, she said reupholster the sofa. New sofa, reupholstery job would look fabulous. Would. But, well, maybe she just buy some cushions. Maybe buy a couple of metres and make cushions. Beautiful. Okay, that's about to go. Tula, Tula. Coming up next. Tula. Right, okay. So this is the new... T right, now this is a, a mix of Alice in Wonderland. No, it wasn't called Alice in Wonderland. Through the Looking Glass. Teapots. Oh, no, they're not teapots. Teacups. No, well, it's actually sideways, Jesse. It goes that way. Right, so then you've got that and the roses from that. And then these are from Saturdays, I think, isn't it called? Daydreamer. Sundays. No, it's called Sundays. Yes, yeah. All right. Because the extra wide is called Saturdays, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you get a saving with this bundle. Over four pounds saving. So you get half a metre of the cups, half a metre of the roses, half a metre of the blue rainbows, half a metre of the pink rainbows. Uh-oh. She didn't ask to do the saving. Nobody will be watching. It'll be fine. Management-wise, they won't know. Management-wise, they don't know. Oh, you're right, Jesse. He's got a bad back. Oh dear, you be careful. 
Beautiful, look at those. Very tonal, very Tula. But the thing is, the thing is, this is what I love about Tula, is that like Tilda, you can mix, you can so easily mix, because she only uses the very, very pure colours, doesn't she? So you know what I mean? You can't, they, they, nobody would know that they were from different ranges. Daydreamers Tea Party, that's what it's called. In capitals, saving over four pounds. Shouting that she is. 25.99, two metres of fabric. Designer fabric, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. This is such lovely quality, this fabric, look. Bit of a waft, there you go. Single figures. Morning, John and team, says Julie. Morning, Julie. Beautiful. Oh, are we? Yeah, I thought we were doing all of what's the name, but we'll do Odile next. It's fine. Do what, eh? Step away from the Tula. She's being a rebel. Right, Odile Ballier. Do you want to do blue or do you want to do pink? Blue first. This is love. I love Odile Balia. She very much is the designer of the moment, isn't she? So you've got baby, um, what are they? Jellyfishes. They're not octopuses. <laughs> then you've got your plumets. Then now, gecko, gecko, gecko. The only way you can get this fabric is in, oh, it's large gecko, that one. And then you've got the ibises, not the hotel, the birds, the wading bird. So half meat, half meat, half meat, half meter. Magic Country by Odile Bellieu. Gorgeous, aren't they? Four left. That's all there are of these. Four left. Yeah, no, no. I knew Marion. I knew you meant to cover the whole sofa, but because we didn't have very much, I was thinking you could get some to make cushions to go on your sofa. Margaret's got a new sofa arriving as well. She'll need some cushioned fabric. Beautiful. Look at those colours in there. Huh? Twenty nine ninety 99.99. 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight, 44 inches wide. Designer fabric, 2 metres. Oh, you know the rose gold irons, there's only eight of those left. No, it's not going to be enough, Jesse. He's getting the hang of it now, isn't he? He's here all week. No, he's not here tomorrow. Oh, neither am I. Neither's Hannah. That, that, I'm in on Thursday. That's Cat, isn't it, on Thursday? And then that's me done for this week. I don't know who. Okay. Then we've got the deep pinks. This is the little geckos, baby geckos on this one. Very romantic. Then you've got the big jellyfishes. Then, oh, I love this one. This is the one with the little air bridges, look. And then you've got the lovely geodes on that one. They're little geodes, that one. Little geodes. There you go. Twenty nine ninety nine, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter. Twenty nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Twenty nine ninety nine. Beautiful, deep, deep pinks there. Twenty nine ninety nine. Now, lots of people got that in their basket. Make sure you check out. Uh, they're the only two Odile bundles I've got this morning. Odile Bellieu. 
Okay, where am I going next then? I can do whatever you want, Hannah. Uh, orange keif. Now, two are keif and two are not. Yeah, so this one here is called, this is a Brandon, that's called Flower Net. Then we've got, oh, I love this one. That This is called Damask, this one. Then we have these blenders, which are not cave. John Loudon, these are. Tangerine. Oh, okay. I had to call that one strawberry, but it's called fuchsia, apparently. So little Paul was here saying, buy it now, you're getting the fuchsia. Good morning, John and Catherine. Happy New Year to you both from Jane. Thank you. Margaret says you have to buy the fabric for the cushions. All right, then. What colour would you like, Margaret? Twen oh, 2199. 21.99. Cave, cave. John Loudon, John Loudon. Okay, Facet Collective. Orange floral fabric bundle. Would you use them all together? Let me just take that one away. See, they'd look lovely together, wouldn't they, those? Oh, you do it in twos. You'd do that and that, would you? That's very that's very obvious though, Hannah. Which is I wouldn't of all the words to you to describe you, Hannah, obvious is not one I'd use. That's a compliment. <laughs> You'll get that plastic bag, don't you worry. <laughs> Five of those bundles left. You're loving your two meter bundles tonight. No, it's snowing in rugby. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate driving in the snow. Who told you? Who? Oh, okay. What's next? Cave in blue. Now, 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 now. So this is shark's teeth in in the blue and the white. This is the Kaif, you'll see his name in here. There it is. Right, so you get the shark's teeth and then you get the blue writing. Then you get, is this marine or royal, that one? Royal there. Lovely. And then, it's a two metre bundle, so there's a batik thrown in. That's not Kaif, that's not Kaif. It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, that. And, oh, you're, but we, only, we don't shout it. You save, save two pounds on this one. Save two pounds. I love those John Louders. Do sewing street sell them separately? Yes, you do. Y yes, you do. Yes, we do. They're called blenders, mixers, mixers. If you search mixers, Jan, it'll bring up all the colours that we've got. They come in and out of stock. They're not, it's not like our Rose and Hubble basics that are there all the time. They just come in and out. So just put mixers, John Louder mixers, and you'll see. Right, oh, now, morning, John. How do I know if I'm okay for free postage? Right, Glynis. Glynis, Glynis, Glynis. You should have had an email to tell you, but we've been told by the marketing team to check your junk mail because it might have gone to your junk mail if it's not in your inbox and it's not in your junk mail ring the call center and they can sort it out for you uh, and if you don't if you wonder what glennis is talking about we had this thing called the 12 days of christmas from the 1st to the 12th of december if you bought within six of if you bought on six of those days within that 12 days you got free pmp for the whole of january so that's that's what glennis is asking about there so if you haven't had your email it's not in your junk box glennis give them a ring Three left of this bundle. Cousin Susan says, good morning, John. Good morning, Cousin Susan. That's Batik. That's Royal. That's Kaif writing and Kaif shark's teeth. Yep. Righty-ho, moving on. I've got a Tula bundle. 
Last designer bundle. What time? Oh, God, get a move on. Right, so this one here, you get your parrots. This is Macaulay Culkin. No. Macaulay later, this one's called. Macaulay later. Right, then this one. I've not seen this one. Excuse me. Little Fluffy Clouds, this one's called. Okay, the photo on the web is not good. Look at the ombre. Look at the ombre. Jesse, can we see the whole ombre? Look, that's lovely, isn't it? So you've got half a metre of that, half a metre of Macaulay later. They're Tulas. Then you get half a metre of the pink from the Rose and Hubble. And you get half a metre of the Copen from Rose and Hubble. Whether you use them all together or mix and match. Right, lots of people got things in their basket not checked out. That's all the designer bundles done now. So you need to start checking out if you want them. If there's any you'd like to see again, just give us a shout. We've only got a couple of minutes before Catherine's on. Okay, and if any are left, we might bring them into the tools hour later. But that tools hour is getting more and more full as the minutes go on. Haley's put some more stuff into it for us. Okay, they're all the designer. Oh dear, that goes there. Who's messaged him? Uh, Julie, Happy New Year to you all. Taking a quick look, has got grandchildren. Julie in Chirk. All right, Jules, bada da. Hello, grandchildren. Oh, they might not be there yet. Or just say they're there. She's got the grandchildren, yeah. Hello, grand. They must already have their breakfast now, aren't they? They love the, um, those things we put milk on. They all snap, crackle, and pop. They still make those. Yeah, uh, that's what I meant, yeah. Right, now there's, uh, you know you're the bags that we're not allowed on the set, right? There's one just floating on its own. Frosty morning, this one's called. There you go. Frosty morning complimentary fabric bundle or coordinating. So you get the pale pink, the silver, the white and the chambray. <coughs> the show on the web is very odd because it makes them all look grey. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, June says, did you see University Challenge had questions on knitting and abbreviations last night? Oh, no, not, not my cup of tea, that, June. Because uh, I could never get any questions right. I wouldn't have got those right, right? Would I? Unless I had DK for double knit. <coughs> 12 99 this bundle for two metres of fabric. Excuse me, frosty morning. Very frosty in here. Catherine won't like it when she comes in here, it's freezing. <laughs> we'll switch the air con off for her, don't worry. 12 99 Beautiful. Righty-ho. Then I've also got... Which colourway would you like to go to next? Okay, blue bundle. We'll do the extra wide backings in the tool hour later for you. £11.97. Under £15. Under £15, this bundle. So these are the splodge fabrics. Blue and grey. Well, hang on, where's the grey? Is that meant to be grey? Dark grey, like charcoal. Charcoal, blue and blue. £11.97. These are the mixers. I call them splodge, they're called the mixers. Good. Right, so very quickly, let's do the orange one. Oh, actually, what number? What number was that? Was that one? Oh no, not it then. Okay, that one hasn't got a bag. You see, that'll be fun for Jesse to sort that out later. Eleven ninety-seven. You know, I said you was all having my hair cut today. I'm not having my hair cut today. It's Thursday. Oranges to yellow, mix of fabrics, fabric bundle, one and a half metres in total. Total. £11.97. They're lovely, bright colours, though, aren't they? Right. Oh, yeah. Now, please, please, please 
Start checking out. There's loads of you got these in baskets. If you want, if you're deciding between the two, then that's fine. But make you, it's now time to make your decision. Right, don't go anywhere. Catherine's up after break. She's going to be making this. Oh, it's there. She's going to be making this bag. Really lovely, isn't it? We've got loads of different colourway bundles for that, and it's a gorgeous book as well. Uh, we will see you in four minutes from now. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine. Um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her, she's, uh, she, she's just, I just love her, her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them, I've got one here, um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is, um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Catherine's here. Wave, Catherine. 
Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. Did you have a lovely time? I had a really lovely time, yeah. Aww. My kids said it was their best Christmas ever. Oh. Isn't that nice? Aww. Yeah. It was, it was really nice. Did you cry? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really nice. No, that's a, what a lovely thing to say. That, yeah. And how old are they now? Well, they're 17 and nearly 15 and nearly 13. So, you know, yeah. they could have been not bothered, but we just oh, had a really nice family brilliant. time. Yeah. I think they're at that age now where you can, you can sit, you can not chat and that's the wrong thing to say, but you can have a conversation involve everybody. Or something, Absolutely, can't you? yeah. Oh, what a lovely thing. Th I take that as a huge compliment. Yeah, if someone yeah, said that. It's great. lovely. Uh, and she finished a quilt for a friend that she's been making since January. Just. Just. Night before. Was it still warm <laughs> when you gave it to yeah, her? Yeah, it was. The sewing, the fast was, sewing on yeah. it. <laughs> right, so today, uh, you know, we're doing New Year. So we're doing New Year, New Craft, New Year, New Hobby, New Year, New Skill. So, um, well, we're just going to we're going to do bag making this one. Bag making this one, beautiful book. It's called So Beautiful, Quilted Bags. Now, before you buy it on its own, there's a, a very similar book, similar but different. If you want to get both of them, there is a bundle coming up for both of them where you get a bit of a discount. Just be aware. This is the book we're working from today. Now, it's not a quick fix book. It's not a knock it up in an afternoon book. It's a take your time, love every minute of it book. It's fourteen ninety nine. Do you know what I thought it was more than that? No, fourteen ninety nine. Um, it's got so much beautiful detailing in it. I can't tell you. It's stunning. The instructions are all. Uh, there's lots and lots of drawings, carnival tote and pouch set. There's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces in here. Look. All with lots of little intricate details. Oh, there you go. Is that the one we've done? Uh, no, it's a slightly bigger version. It's just the bag before. Oh, it's bag before. Hang on yeah. there's, there's two sizes. Have we done that one then? Yes. Oh, okay. It's called the Fabric Sampler Bag, that one. It's lovely, isn't it? But there's loads and loads in here. All the stitch detailing. You've got lots and lots of templates at the back as well. Pattern sheets, they're calling them. Uh, look. It's not just birds, uh, not just bags, there's a collage there. There's not just birds, there's plants. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Look at that. A quilt shop next to the bakery. Well, I never. It's all fitting together, isn't it? The bakery is in, in a windmill, however. Milling the flour, isn't it? And they got the flour from the flower shop. No, 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 wrong flour, John. Look, beautiful, isn't it? There's so many lovely projects in there. Anyway, it's fourteen ninety nine. That's the one we have taken today's pattern from. Let me, can I introduce you to the other book as well then, while I'm at it, and then I'll show you the bundle. You might want the bundle, might you? You might already have that book or this book. But anyway, so we're selling them separately. This one's twelve ninety nine. We're not working from this one today, but it's just very much of the... Is it by the same lady? It is, isn't it? Akimi Shibata. Yes, it is. Same lady. Different projects in here. Now, if you remember, um, Joe Carter made that bag back in the Sewing Street. Uh, Sewing Quarter Days. Back in the days there. Anyway, again, all the lovely projects. Again, they are not quick fix projects. But they're so worth it, aren't they? Look. Purses. At... Uh, Pouches, table mats, bluebird baskets. Isn't it lovely? Embellished pack tote. We're not working. Oh, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Double wedding ring tote bag. Anyway, there's that book as well. That one's twelve ninety nine, But we've got a deal, right? So if you buy them both together. Now, are you crashing or has it already gone down? It's already down, it's already down. So this is your price, $24.99. $24.99, you can get both for $24.99. Over 10% off, right? We're working from this one today. Yeah, last time we had this, this one as a bundle, they sold out in a second. Half the stock of the bundle went on pre-order. Right, but as I say, we're just working from this one book today. 
So the project that we're going to is in this one, but so worth buying both of them. So look, let's have a look at the bag that Catherine made. There you go. That's the book that we're working from. And that one there is made from this bundle. The bundle does not include the book. Just to make it clear, it does not include the book. But you get more than enough fabric to do it. So you get here a metre of the black fabric. You get your faux black, they're not real, faux black leather handles. And then you get your fat quarter bundle. One, two, three, four fat quarters in there. Two, and this is what you'll get. That is what, that is what you'll get. That's one, that would make you the bag that Catherine has made. There's a still of it. Oh, why are the pictures all out of proportion? Right, let's have a look at the bag that it made. There you go. There you go. There you go. So that will make that one. Right, Catherine is going to make this one using this one today. So you get, again, no book, no book in the, in the bundle. So you get a metre of your beige. You get your brown faux leather handles. And then you get your fat quarter bundle of pink stripe. Dipsy flowers, little pink flowers, and busy flowers on magenta. $21.99. Obviously, you need to buy the book separately, which loads of you have. Loads of you come and bought the book. Right, you know the bundle of the two books? The two books with 10% off. There's only five of those left now. Make sure you check out on that if you've got that one. Right, I've got other collect selections here. I've got green. So, again, no, the book is not in this. This is just your fabric and your handles. You get your faux leather handles in brown. You get your metre of your... I'm calling it beige. Is it the same as that one? Yeah. Nude. Nude it is. And then this is your green colourway. Green stripes, brown flowers, green flowers, dark green flowers. Beautiful. So I meet you the fabric, the faux handles and the four fat quarters for $21.99. The book is not included in that bundle. Then I've got, sorry Catherine, I'll be with you in a second. Then I've got this one here, which is like... A, Navy blue, navy blue, oh, oh yes, sorry, I got the yellow one, yellow one, yellow one, yellow one first, yellow one first. So this one, naturally seeded cotton, I think that one is, neater, no, that's a completely different fabric. Okay, you'll get nude, you won't get naturally seeded, you'll get nude. Got a completely different code on it, Hannah. Right, okay, let's hide that one then, because you get nude. You get nude in it, right? So you get nude, you get your brown faux handles, and this one you get your yellows. So yellow gingham, yellow flowers, pale green, and then the ditzy. $21.99. Okay. Now, I've got two other colourways. I've got navy and I've got red. Which one would you like first? Navy first. No, 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 you're right, you're right, because they're all the same there. Right, so this one is a metre of navy. You get your black faux leather handles. Then these are designer fat quarters, so you get four of these. Well, that's designer, that's designer, that's designer, that's nude. <laughs> a lot of nude going on this morning, baby. These three are Moda. This is Rose and Hubble, that's Rose and Hubble, then that's your... um. Faux handles there, twenty seven ninety nine. Nice, and then a red one, which will be very vibrant, I would imagine. See, I call that orange. You what? Oh no, it's what it is. It's. Uh, I tell you what it is. It's spicy tomato, hot tomato, hot tomato, not spicy. <laughs> I don't know where spicy came from then. Hot tomato. Yeah, it's all the nudity that's got me going this morning. See, black faux handles. Then you've got Ladybirds, designer. You've got, oh, it's not a hot tomato, it's paprika. I would have said that was hot tomato, but anyway, paprika. Then you get the spot, 
The ladybirds on blue. The ladybirds on green. Oh, I love this. It's one of my favourite fabrics ever, this. Riley Blake, isn't it, that one? Uh, 27 99 I could have sworn that was hot tomato. Never mind. Paprika. A bit more spicy. Yeah. Righty ho. So they're all your fabrics, right? I'll do all this very quickly and then everything's done. Say you just want the handles on their own. Black, faux. They're not leather. They're faux leather. Eight ninety nine. Bundle of the two books is sold out. I've only now got the books individually. Still good value for money. Then we've got the faux in the brown. $8.99. Now I've got rotary cutters and friction pens and little scissors, but you can go to the website to get those. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, 8640. 8640. 8640 to put inside it. It's a metre by 90 centimetres. And 9.99. Morning, John and crew. How are you going on Love Island? No, Anne. I was just going to apply for it. It was a joke. <laughs> but after all the backing I've had, I'd win with if you all voted for me. I might be left on the shelf, you know what I mean? It might be one of those where, what, what do they call it when they, when they couple up on a Friday night? I'd be the one left like that. Oh. <laughs> no, I'd be busy cleaning. I couldn't live in that house. Ooh. Ugh, no, no, thank you. Uh, and Donna says, good morning, everyone. Right, okay, let's get on with some sewing, shall we? Because I've had enough of all of these. The book, I'll put the book back in. There you go. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's right one, that's right one. Fourteen ninety nine. This is the book we're working from today. Now, it's like I say, it's not a quick fix afternoon. No. Let's sew something quickly. Is no, it? but it's it's nice because it's quite nice sometimes just to slow down and go. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to do something careful and steady yeah. and be. You even know, when you've got a deadline like the show. Even when <laughs> you've got a deadline, absolutely. <laughs> to be fair with this, it's only the front that's a bit more intricate. The actual putting the bag together is very straightforward. Oh, it's, it's not on the back. The back's plain then. The back is just quilted. Um, well, you use variegated thread. I did use variegated Very thread. Very nice. I'm rather fond of my variegated yes. threads. Um, so you, you could do both sides if you wanted yeah, to, yeah. Um, but the instructions do it for one. So okay. once you've done this front bit, the actual putting the bag together and the quilting bit was, was actually really quick. Brilliant. Um, and the cutting isn't particularly difficult because it's lots of the same size pieces. But little pieces. They're little pieces. They are very little. When I first looked at it, I went, one and a quarter <laughs> inches, really. Um, so you've actually got in here a little template in your book, which it tells you to draw around, and then you've got to add on your quarter of an inch all the way round. Oh, okay. So I have I drew out it out on a piece of paper, so I'd got it right, right okay, and yeah. I could check yeah. that I was doing it correctly. Oh, it is tiny, isn't it? It Even is. The camera's going out of focus trying <laughs> to find it. <laughs> Do you know what though? You think it's small to start off with and then when you start working with it, you kind of get used to it yeah, and it's course, okay. Yeah. It's all right. So you're going to cut yourself 45 of your bright little pieces. So I've just done a, you know, a selection of each. A random. A, a random, a random yeah. selection. And when I was putting this together, I literally picked them up randomly. Um, some people can't cope with that. No, They'll no, need no. to plan it out. Mm -hmm. But you have got a really nice diagram. So if you want to make it lovely and symmetrical, you can do. Yeah, of course. Um, in, her, in the book, she uses a, a separate fabric for each one. And as um, I was making it, I was thinking, oh, you know, if you've got your Liberty scraps or yeah. your cave scraps, well, that what a lovely scrap, way to use them up. An inch and a half, an inch square. Exactly. So she was like, you can use all your favourite things left over from projects. And in fact, this whole book uses really small pieces brilliant for using everything yeah, of up course, yeah. you know some of us some of us start the new year going right that's it we're going to use our stash up this year i mean that lasts like five minutes yeah. doesn't it but if you have got that in mind really good for that i would say so you've got 45 of your little uh, colored squares 
and you've got then your nude accent yep. 12 little squares and then 32 bigger pieces which are one and a quarter inch by two and a half did inches. you do the same thing on that i did one? the same thing i did think my little template was in my bag but it wasn't when i unpacked i had made a little template just the same though just to make sure i was doing it correctly Aww. so now she also gives all the measurements for cutting the back and the bottom and the and the bindings however when i put this together even though I'd done quarter of an inch, it wasn't quite the same size as what she'd advised to cut out. Right. So I would say, don't cut those other pieces out until you've made the front bit. And then you can make sure it's the right size. Perfect. Yeah. Mine yeah. just came out a little bit bigger. The, the, the actual panel came out? My big. panel came out a little bit bigger. Okay. So... But it's a good tip, isn't it, to do the front first. If you cut all the other bits out, then it doesn't yes. all fit together. Although I have to say, you've got so much fabric in your bundle that you can cut it wrong and you can still, cut it, <laughs> you've cut still it got plenty again. to cut it correctly. Oh. Um, so what I'm going to do today is just show you how to start putting these pieces together because we've got inset seams um, on your patchwork. Right. You could have done it all in very, very tiny squares and done it all in rows, but that would be even trickier, I think, because you'd be matching seams yes. then. We've got no matching, but all these long bits and the little bits that come in here are all inset curved seams, and you don't often do inset no, seams in no, patchwork, sure. do you? No. No. So, um, we're going to start off. You've got a great diagram, and actually, once you've done the first little bit, you realise you're actually making quite a few of the same shape. So you kind of get into the swing of it yeah. and it speeds up. Elliot's in today. We're going to ask him for a new cut and press so it's nice and clean on the, on the, for, the, for the design. He's a, it's, every time I come, there's a new one. I don't know what everybody does to them. Well, you're doing applique later. It could be, you it know, could you be could that, couldn't it? it? They're so not in stock at the moment, sadly. The first thing we're going to do is put a little group together like this. So each piece is going together with a quarter inch seam. Hang on, hang on. So you're sewing so, patterned ones together? Yeah. No, I'm not. I've got the wrong one out, haven't I? No, it's like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's because I was looking Thank at the you, back. John. No, no, I was looking no, at the you're back right. thinking, where's the bit with them three sewn together? It's like that. Right. There we go. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of people say that. Uh, Trine says, morning, John and Catherine. Last day of my holiday for me, so it's going to be a sewing day. And Kerry says, morning, John and Catherine. Watching with my mum, Mary. Hello, Mary. Uh, oh, Jesse says hello as well. Uh, embroidery this morning and back to Liverpool this afternoon and work tomorrow. Oh, we'll send your mum, Mary, our love. Work. I'm back at work tomorrow. Half the stock of the book that we're working with has now gone. The bundle of the two books has gone. So now you're just sewing them together. Just sewing them together with a quarter inch seam. Right. Actually, you know, we go on about mindfulness and everything. This would be brilliant for that because you literally... You're not worrying about big long seams and like that. You're literally just sitting doing little tiny little seams you together. Are. Aren't you? And I mean, I, I while I was doing it, I did think, you know, if I'd had more time to hand quilt this using your sash co, because these mm -hmm. are she's a um, I put them together in the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start for the new year. Okay. It's all about teaching a new skill. This is how not to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try that so again, So what do you do? Do, you do, do, do? I hadn't got my beige one in the, in middle. the middle. I'm having trouble with my beige, aren't oh, I? Okay. Nude. <laughs> Nude. Um, yes, to do like Sashko hand quilting on it would be lovely. <clears throat> yeah. Does she suggest any of that then? <clears throat> she doesn't. She just talks about normal quilting oh, on it. Oh, okay. But, um, there's no reason why you couldn't. Because it all looks so intricate. You'd think a lot of... And they are Japanese-inspired. Yes. So, yeah. I, that, I think oh, that would Alice be really nice to do. The question is, good morning, love the bag. How do you attach the handles, machine or hand? They're love by the show. hand. They are by hand. Um, I use my quilting thread, the same. You and you just go in and out and in and out, sort of, you go in and out with a running stitch and then you come back round again to fill in the gaps and okay. I would do that a couple of times to make it really secure. Okay. In the pack you've also got like a little leather bit that fixes on the back right. to hide your stitching. Now I didn't stitch that on at the same time, I stitched my handle on first and then I stitched that on over the top oh, just okay. feeding it through 
the wadding. It was yeah. too tricky to try yeah. and stitch it but on all in one go. Actually, that's quite nice because sometimes on, on, on the whole, they just give you the handles, which means you just have great big stitches come yeah. through the lining. Yeah, but the it bag. just makes it look really it neat and tidy, lovely, doesn't yeah. it? Another question. Across the bottom. Morning. Could you hand sew the front panel, silly nanny Jilly? How are you, silly nanny Jilly? Not heard from you in ages. I don't see why not. If you like hand stitching, I tell you, you would hand stitch it, Marcia. Marcia would hand stitch this because you've only got little seams, haven't you, to do? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. see why not. I suppose she's machined it because it's a bag, and in theory, the machine stitching is stronger. I know a lot of you'll be shouting at your telly there, going, "My hand stitching's just as strong," but I know my hand stitching wouldn't be as strong as machine stitching for it. But good question. Uh, oh, um, a lady says, hello from Kuala Lumpur. I can't say your name, I'm afraid. Georgina says, morning, John, Catherine and team. Good morning, everyone. Okay. That is the so nude now, one in the middle this time. So the nude one's in the middle and the longer one is on the side. So that is like, that's piece one, which is the first little side bit. Okay. Like there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to make a little, uh, each little bit is... Um, numbered so that you know you're doing it in the right order. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make a number two piece that goes along the top. So as I say, I'm just picking them up randomly, but you could just plan it all out because you've got this, you can see here, you've got this great diagram that shows you exactly oh, how yes. it's going to be. And the little sections, each little section's got like a black li the hard black line around it so you can see how they're going together. But once you've done your first bit of construction here, you're kind of like, ah. And so you're doing a, a, well, I'm going across now then? So I? now I'm going to go one across here. Right. And then we're going to make one that goes down oh, here. Oh, I see. Okay. I see, I see. Yep. And so then when we put them together, we've got these little inset seams here. To, right, so okay. it, it creates this kind of basket weave effect mm. that you've got going on, doesn't it? Fabulous. Which is lovely. So we'll put some of these together. <laughs> Trying to remember to get my beige, my, my nude in the middle. Yeah. Gone Catherine's using the Rose Patchwork Fabric Sampler Bag Bundle, 21.99. Remember, you do not get the book in with the bundle. In fact, the nude on that one looks slightly sagey olivey from here, doesn't it? It's nude. Oh. I tell you what though, it is one of those projects where you're glad you've got if you've got scissors on your machine. Oh yes, definitely. My machine was put away at Christmas. I've been doing EPP for the first time and I found it very relaxing to do each evening. My friend Dulcie does EPP all the time. She finds it, it after a day filming, she does costumes for films. It just brings her down after the busy day. And yeah, not down, not down depressed, as in down, as in relaxed. So when you're sewing these little pieces, uh -huh. these like sort of T-shaped pieces, I suppose they are, uh -huh. you're not going to sew them all the way down to the bottom because these are the bits that you're going to inset. Right. So you need to sew them and leave a quarter inch at the um Go down and stop a quarter inch so before the So you start the at the top, do you go from the top or do you leave a quarter inch at the top as well? No, just at the bottom. Okay, so start at the top. Just at the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little mark on my a little dot to show me. I'll put it on both, depending okay. which. Um, and then I'll know where I'm going to stop. Right. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do it so I can actually see it. Stop or start, depending which way around you put it under your machine. Of course. Okay. Uh, Julie, say, Julie says, I've stored, in inverted commas, small pieces of shibori fabric from a quilt bought from sewing quarter. This is ideal to use them up. Oh, it would be lovely, Julie. Yeah. Marion says, oh, Catherine, what a beautiful pattern and bag, but my hands won't let me make it. Or maybe some of the other bags may be, question mark. I think you could. I think you could. If you're not prepared to, you know, it's not, as we were saying, it's not really a rush job. You can no, just do a tiny little bit, bit at a time. time. Morning, John and Catherine. I have the book from a previous show. Are you making the tote or the bag? Regards, Carol. I think we're making the... I think it's the bag. I think the tote is bigger. Yes, yes. it's the bag. We're making the bag. Here you go. This is the one we're doing on page six. 
So, there you go. That's what we're doing. There is another version. Look on page 11. Same technique, I think, is it? But yeah. But just a different shaped bag look. Yes, I mean the the tote. She pretty much says follow the same instructions. It's just got a same similar layout. Okay. It's got a different layout Dif because you've got more squares in it. Yeah. So if you discover that you love doing this tiny intricate thing, then you can just make a bigger version. Use up even more scraps. Yeah, when your friends ask you to make one, when they see yours, and you go, mm. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. One of a kind, says Jesse. But I think it's the sort that you can, yes, wow your friends with it. Oh, yeah, totally. So it may look like it's a little bit like, oh, what she say, sewing here and what she's yeah. sewing there. But it's very, very clear the steps that you are doing it in on these instructions. So there's my piece one this is my core piece three and it's now going together with piece two like this right you have like that but there aren't any seams to match which is a bonus uh-huh um i've tended to press so that my seams i don't know they just seem to want to go outwards on it right okay yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. they've seemed to want to do that on all my pieces and because you're not having to match anything particular it doesn't really matter yeah, but you've got nesting to worry about or anything <coughs> Catherine would have known the answers to university challenge questions. <laughs> June's going on about university challenge. They had a knitting section. Oh, I probably, well, I might have. Uh, it was about um, what the knitting abbreviations were. Ah. Uh, I don't tend to watch university challenge. No, I said that, yeah. No. But I bet my mum and dad did. She'll be asking me later because mum will have been able to answer them too. Oh, okay. Then. <laughs> Your mum and dad will be a highbrow like June then, I'd say. Kid. Yeah, they like all the quizzes. Yeah. Anna's family are more tipping point, she says. I've got no <laughs> idea what that means. Oh, is that Ben Shepherd? With the coins going down the thing? Oh, OK. I don't watch many quizzes at all, really. Pottery Throwdown, that's what I'm on at the moment. Oh, Pottery Throwdown yeah. and Mars Singer. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah, I have to watch the Mars Singer. So this is, as we're working across the top, you can uh -huh. see this little bit coming together. Now what I'm going to do, so that I can show you how to make the, do your little inset, okay. is I'm going to make, so I've done this first part here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make this little bit here so that I can show you how to put it, Brilliant. it in. Excellent. Because that, that's the only, you know, the inset's the bit that just takes a little bit of work. Uh-huh. So, let me just get another one ready. What am I after that? So this is another one, again, where I need to just mark my quarter of an inch. Where I'm <laughs> sorry, Catherine. No wittering <laughs> away in there about how to make a cup of tea and all sorts of things. I'm trying to concentrate on what you're saying. <laughs> well, I don't mind if they, br if they bring me one as well. That'll be all right. No, guests aren't allowed a cup of tea on the set. <laughs> <laughs> They'll make you one in the break, she says. <laughs> I think you, Han Han Hannah's on a new eating regime, and I think it's gone a little bit to her head. She's a bit light-headed, isn't she? Light-headed, that's She's not I'm had enough about. carbs this morning. No carbs. <laughs> She's not allowed carbs. Three a day. Well, that's right. P pound of potatoes. That's one. <laughs> oh, and the, Hannah, who lives on potatoes, the new re eating regime limits her potatoes. Oh dear. No. I don't like the sound of that. I made. Oh, you know, I can't remember what they're called. Those potatoes where you layer them up with cream. Oh, dauphin was. Yeah, I made those the other day. We had loads of cream left over. Oh, pff, like so, you do after Christmas. Yeah. So it's an like eater, and we're all like, oh, yeah, we really like potatoes. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So you, get, you do get into a nice little rhythm mm. with it, really. Yeah, definitely. I think what lots of people put off with is if they know they've got to do inset scenes and things like that. But they're not can... as bad as you think. No. They're not. Okay. So this one is going to go into here. I've managed to use the same fabrics, which isn't good, is it? Never oh, mind. Oh, honestly. Hang Random. On. I've got to put one, no, I've got to put one of those ones on top first. Let oh, they get it right, right and then it won't be right yeah. next to each other. Yeah, yeah, because you should never have, you won't no, ever you have won't. two patterns touching each other, will you? You won't, so you, no. You can use, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're pressing well as you go along. Yeah. Now, are you using dry iron or steam iron? Just to... Just in real life, what did you use? I know you just got a dry iron. I you? never have a steam iron. You never have steam <laughs> iron? What about your husband's shirts? Oh, well, he does his own shirts. Yes, he puts this water in it for that. Oh, OK. But I don't iron his shirts because apparently I don't do them well enough. Also, I wasn't being, I wasn't being sexist then saying, why no. should I iron a husband's shirts? I'm just saying. No, I just don't do it. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attitude. <laughs> OK. So what's going to happen is this piece has got to fit in here and you've got to, it's got to be sewn around the corner. But you actually do it in two stages. Right. So you're going to do one stage first, then the other. OK. It's just I've just got to make sure I get it the right way around. Yeah. Yes. OK. And this is why you've not sewn it right to the end, because this can lift out the way. And let's just oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It can be moved out the way and you can get into that corner. Brilliant. So we're just going to line this up. You will notice that I am just not really using any pins. They're kind of too small to pin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Julie says the clover seam presser would come into its own in this project. Certainly would the little roller, wouldn't it? Okay. So if you fold that, I don't know if, they can, if you yeah, can yeah, see. Yeah, we can see it Fold to. it up out the way and then you can sew up to that edge of your seam but again you should have a little bit of a quarter inch yeah. overlapping here ready for when we go across the next side yeah. i think the only thing i'd be frightened of using all these little pieces is sometimes the machine will take the fabric down into it, the gubbin it could chew sometimes. them a little yes, bit when they're little like that, that. is true um, I mean, my advice would be is sometimes start slightly forward, mm -hmm. but you've got so much fabric that if it yeah. chews one up, it's Not it really world. isn't the end of the world. I haven't lined that up brilliantly. That's it. So then you've gone up to there, then you're going to turn it round. So then this bit comes across here. You're going to stitch across here again to that corner. And, and I mean, I have to say, I don't haven't done loads of inset seam patchwork, mm -hmm. and I did have to unpick one or two as I went along. But you know, yeah. So what? You get better as you get to go exactly, along. Exactly. You know, and it's all yeah. good, and it's all good to learn. I've lost my pedal. Well, new year, new skill, new Absolutely. hobby. Absolutely, I always like having a go at new things. Yeah. And it, it is just, it was good. It's good for me because I'm not the best at taking my time. Um, I like to. Um, I was it's, now, I hope you don't take offence at this, right? Yeah. When I came in this morning, or when we prepped it yesterday afternoon, and I said, Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what mood Catherine will be in in the morning. Because I know. <laughs> Did you, John? No, 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 no. I meant this in the most yeah. the loveliest of ways. But I know that you like sit down and go, right, you make this, you do this, you do this, you do this, move it on to the next project, do this, make I some am, silver, make I some jewellery, make a whizzer, some. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I said, I knew that this was a very. And I know you can do it, because obviously you've done it, but it was just kind of went, oh, and especially as you're working to a deadline. That's what I was more worried about, Christmas deadline, and you had a, like a real mindful, slow project to do. Sort of thing. I only swore a little bit at the start. Oh, did you? <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, and I, also, I didn't mean it in the slightest bit rudely. I just, I just kind of went, mm, she won't have been able to run this up on Christmas afternoon. <laughs> no, I, I ran it up on Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> When I started it, I thought, oh, oh, it's going to take hours. Yeah, and I was a bit like, oh dear, and I haven't got much time. But actually, when you get into it, um, so if you do want to do it a bit more quickly, I mean, I, I've shown you the starting part here as you start to put it together. But once you realise you've got certain little blocks, yeah. so you've got certain little blocks of three, you've right. got, that you make, so you make eight of those. Yeah. And then these little T-shapes, 
you make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. you make 12 of those. So once I'd done the first little bit, and then I realised how it went together. So then I sat and made all my different little blocks. Oh, made blocks. all your T's, made your threes. Yes. And, oh. and then I did all my inset seams at once. Yeah. But also... So then you, you get into a rhythm You've only been doing it for 20 minutes, look, and already you've got quarter of the front of the bag exactly. done such sort of things. And I have to say, my second go is looking better than my first go. Oh, Because you, you know what? If you make something twice, you second one's always better than yeah, the first yeah. isn't it yeah, always definitely. and I always say that to the beginner sewers that come to me don't worry just have another oh, go this is your first yes. first go well also that when you're doing it first time you are going into it completely blind aren't you even though you've Absolutely. got instruction and everything like that and years of practice you are doing it for the second time think oh I remember this corner yes. I really need to line that up yes. or something yeah absolutely so and also you've got like you say you've got loads of fabric maybe have a practice loads of fabric. have a practice just for like do a six make a coaster or something like that just totally. as a practice when and then go back and make the bag but yeah yeah, yeah. there's I mean well you can see I cut my strip look at look there's all this left oh brilliant absolutely heaps left do you use all of the nude or all of the background colour? um it, you use that for the lining as well as oh, okay the so that's why you've got a meter front, which the, is why you've yeah. got a lot more but I still had some left over still had some oh, left okay over. but you wouldn't have enough to make two bags out no, no you wouldn't but then we've all got a couple of meters of plain fabric in our stash, haven't we? So you could make oh, a black absolutely. one and another colored one, you know what I mean? Yes. Oh, actually, that would look lovely if you used a brightly colored and juice used the black and white. If you bought the black and white one, but then also use a bright color for your actual tea bits as well as, you know, to be beautiful, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'll shut up. No, it's good because you, it gives you ideas as you're going along. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Uh, I think in the book, she's actually used a little bit of a sort of a, like a linen Yes, as it well, looked like which it, yes. Is I really think she's nice. a lot in, uh, but if you've got calico at home, you could do it in calico Calico as well, would be nice. It'd be lovely. Yeah. And calico is very stable as well. So when you're doing the little seams, it's going to stay where it is. Uh, Roxana says, oh, now, um, she said she faked the effect on the front of this bag by ironing small pieces of fabric onto interfacing with spacing in between them, then crisscross stitching them with ribbon in a lattice design and ironed it down, then stitched it all over. Oh, Roxana, that's so typical of you, isn't it? <laughs> but inspired. Yeah, no, no, but that's what, you, that's what you were just saying. You do it the first time, you think, well, actually, this could work like this, or you could do this or something. And I actually quite like the idea of the hand, hand stitching it. I mean, I do like hand yes, stitching. Yeah. But I also like the mindful. fact that it's quite, the, the lines are quite precise with the machine stitching. When you've pressed it, they're actually quite precise, all the T-junctions, everything. So I quite like that. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully precise. So we're just going to carry on the, in the same way. I'm going to make up a little bit more and then I'll show you another. We'll do the inset again just to... Make sure everybody knows where we're at. I've lost my spot where I'm at. That's going there. Yes. I do know what I'm doing, really. quite like this neutral against the bright colours they, they're standing out nicely so that one's like that so we're going to have another little T junction one and when you put when you put this one together because because <laughs> they are so small you think oh it can't be right yeah but then when you put it all together it, it is right yeah and somehow it isn't as small as you think, is it? I also like I also like the fact that the stripes you can you know do the stripes in different directions, and you've got they're the only ones you can do in the different directions, aren't they? Because all the others are just non-directional everything. I love yes. I love it that it's kind of that that just that pink stripe is going to create that different look just by being lying on its yes, side. Yes, I mean the stripe on that I didn't think about which way it was going. Oh no, no, you got I, I can see you got some going random. that way. Yeah. Those those black and white ones look like that licorice all sorts. They do, don't they? Like, these be licorice all sorts. I don't know if they still do them, which were just black and white sandwiches, weren't they? They do because I had some at New Year. Oh did you? I did. We had licorice all sorts. That like your New Year treat. Well we went to our friends for New Year. We had all sorts of nibbles and things. And I, I think they didn't like licorice all sorts, so they put them out. And it was only me, really me that liked them, so I ate a lot. 
My first landlady, when I moved to London as a youngster, she used to put a piece of licorice on the, on the pillow every day so that I ate a piece of licorice before I went to bed every night. Because it Aww. keeps you regular. <laughs> what she used it to is say. Good. Well, it is Mrs. good for Clark you. used to say. <laughs> no, that's not the one that knew the gangsters, though. Uh, Roxana loves these books. Even without the intricate patch designs, the shapes of a bag make a brilliant change from just rectangles. Yes, because they're all slightly different shapes, aren't they, the bags in here? They've all got a lovely kind. That one is... Oh, hang on, I can't see it yet. The one on the front cover especially. Beautiful, beautiful shape on here. Just bringing the camera over now. He was busy drinking his tea. Look, you see what I mean? There's all, all of them have slightly different shapes to them and everything. They're gorgeous. We know that from past. We've, we've made more, some of these before when we were at Sewing Quarter and lovely shape. Over half the book has gone. The bundle is completely gone. How's the other book doing that just got to flash earlier? We just flashed it, didn't we, the other earlier? Okay, that's the other book. The, the, this one's got 28 cop, uh, things in. This one's got 36. That one's 12 99 Same lady, different shapes in this one. May, yeah, maybe we've already got one. Anyway, they're both beautiful. So that's the 12 99 one there. And then this is the one we're working from now. So where are you up to then? So where am I up to? I'm just putting that one together there. Which is... <laughs> Look. It's it's going. It's going. Well, actually, cause, because you're making them all from scratch, you haven't done your teas and your little tri trilogy or your, tr what do you call three together? Triplets and things like that. Shall I talk you through the quilt, what you did with the quilt? Yes, once you please. Once you've made this lovely panel. Yeah. You are going to put a border on it. You can see there's a border on all the, all the way around. All the way around the outside. All four sides. And then... Is that, where, is that where the finished size was slightly bigger than... Yeah, so, yeah, so my, cent my central panel was slightly bigger. So then I, I had to recut my borders Fine. <laughs> to make them fit. Um, and the back uh, to the same size. And then you've got a bottom panel to, to cut out. Um, and again, because it would come out slightly wider, what's very helpful if this happens is in your book, you've got all your dimensions right. of what it's supposed to be. Now, I was slightly wider this way, but it had that I still, this bit here between the edge of your um, front and back and the bottom panel uh -huh. was seven centimetres or two and three quarter inches. So I could cut the correct size to still keep the shape right right because i knew that this had got to still be of course two and three quarters. so it's basically a box it just looks like a box bottom it bag is. it is so the actual putting it together is really yes, easy yes, yes, yes. now you quilt the lining and the wadding and the inner and outer all together like a quilt like a quilt so it's so not a while separate it's still, lining so while it's still flat so while it's still flat you attach it uh, you you've Put your bottom on, yes, and so you've got a sort of a well, you can a see here. Well, not a it's not, a, it's not, I was going to say t shape, and it's not. So yeah. you've got a flat piece like that, yeah. all flat. You're going to put your lining the same shape, and you've and wadding. you're wadding the same shape, and quilt it all. Oh, okay. So inside, are there seams inside? So I think. Can you see? I've right, got. I use. I, black might be I use black on, on my bobbin. Oh, right, so, okay, yeah. but yes, the quilt, and it actually makes it nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's all quilted before you then do your boxed corners and you put your side seams together. Okay. Um, and you, you then use a little binding just to bind your seams. Oh, okay. I was going to say to make it nice and yeah, neat. So you you've don't got want raw edges you've inside. got no raw edges. Um, so is that like a bias? Would you make a bias binding? It, um, it she just binding? tells you it's just a straight binding. Okay. It's not because they're straight, straight seams, edges, so course, they don't yeah. need to be mm -hmm. on the bias. And I did a binding all the way around the uh, top edge as well. Okay. Now you to need to point really something out here, don't you? Because so I couldn't find anywhere in the book how it told you to make to put the top together. And I did read it a number of times and looked in the back because in the back it's it's very useful. It has lots of how to do things. Uh -huh. You know, there's a nice bit on how to do your inset seams and everything. But I couldn't find uh, this is how you finish the top edge of the right. bag. So I decided to make 
a binding but, just like we'd bound the seams yeah um and again you've got heaps of fabric to do that but i think you would that's what you could because if you made it like a quilt it's yes. not like you've got a separate lining that you can whip down or anything you've made it like a quilt haven't you so the only yes. way to finish the edge would be to bind yes. it wouldn't it? Yeah. it it's just that i think they'd forgotten to put that yeah, step in fine. that was all but um I suspect anybody tackling this project's not going to be a complete beginner. No. So you'd you'd figure out you needed to find the top edge. Exactly. More people yes. want this black uh, bundle than we've got stock of. Uh, remember, the bundle does not have the book in. You need to buy the book separately. So what colour are you going to put in the graphics now then? Which is your favourite colour, John? Um, I don't know. I quite, I mean, I like the black and white one because it's quite striking. But out of them, I quite like the um, the green one. Yeah, I like but, the green. But I'm not sure that I'd have nude in the back of uh, my background. Do you know what I mean? Hang on, I'm just got to get some nude. There you go. Mind you, having seen you make, you see, I like the the the, the boldness of the black. It's like yes. quilts. I like quilts to have black yes. backgrounds. Do you know what I mean? But or dark background. Yeah, but now I've seen it, the nude one going together, I actually really like it. I would be, I would be tempted to use calico for the texture of it. I'd quite like to do the, te the texture with calico, but I love the green one there. Now, what you get in the green ones, you get the brown faux leather handles, you get a metre of the nude, and you get single figures of the green one now, and then you get your four fat quarters. You can have a, so there's enough of the fat quarters to do two, bags but you'd need oh, yes. to, but you'd need to to get to a meter of another fabric to do the background for your other one and you need obviously need to get more handles so that's the green one there which one's your favorite then Han? oh do you like to see um, the pinky one let's do the pinky one there rose it's called this one so you get your nude meter you get your brown handles faux leather handles and then you get your four pinky rose Oh, actually, yes. I, uh, yeah, yeah, you see, I think it's oh, difficult it's hard to, know, to choose, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, the yellow is quite pretty. I'm very fond of yellow, just because it's cheerful. Yes. And I, I feel like at the moment, everything we've got to make has got to be for spring. Yes. So we can just burst forth. Exactly. <laughs> yellow one's limited now. Yellow one, you do get the brown handles with. There you go. Oh no, I do like that one now. Now you've said that. They're all our favourites, aren't they? It's oh, just... Anna's saying fill it with little Easter chicks. Oh, yeah. Easter's my age. We've got Valentine's Day first, Hannah. We could make the pink one for Valentine's pink Day. Pink one, for, can you imagine Hannah with the pink one on Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> 21 99 that bundle. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's I think that the, the lemon one's very fresh, actually. Oh, she wants a, a pet duckling, she says, for, for, for Easter. It, a duckling's for life, though, Hannah, not just for Easter. And they need a little pond to splash in. Well, she, oh, she, no, no, she's got the whole, they've got, uh, where she lives, they've all each got their own individual back garden, but they've got a communal front garden. You could put a, a, put a pond in. Yeah. Ducks aren't. I, I do like ducks. My son loves ducks. Ducks? As a, yeah, as a little boy, he, they were his, like, absolutely his favourite. Oh, he loves funny. ducks. Still loves ducks, especially to eat. Don't! <laughs> do you think he'll go into a cage? Because he's really into his cooking, isn't he? Should he he'll... is really into his cooking. No, I don't think he will, actually. But he, he does like it a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. He did a good lemon meringue pie over Christmas. Oh. I know. Have you, have you told him how much money he can make as a chef, as a celebrity <laughs> chef? <laughs> yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Okay, so we're going to put this one in here. Uh -huh. So again there, I've not gone right down to the ends. We've right. got it loose. It's just, it's, it's figuring out which side you've got to start so yes. that you get it on the right side of your sewing machine. So you have to start on the right hand side, I've discovered. And oh, again, now June said... It. It's very spring-like here today. Blue skies, sunshine and daffodils are out. Blimey, where are you, June? Bournemouth. Wow, that's a bit early though, isn't oh, it? Oh, hang on. Derek said this bag would look great with Henry Glass Hearts fabric. Would indeed. Carol says, Happy New Year to you both. It's my birthday today, so I might treat myself from Carol. Happy birthday, happy Carol. Happy birthday. Oh, everyone's saying happy birthday, Carol. 
Okay, and then we swivel it round. Yeah. And match up, and because we've left that little gap, we can come across the top. Yeah. So when you get into, once you get into the swing of them, they're not that bad. No, exactly. Don't be afraid of them. And it's called an inset seam, isn't it? it? Is. Eastbourne, not Bournemouth, Eastbourne. Oh, there's, that's why I've been going wrong. I've been coming to Bournemouth to see you, June. Oh, I haven't gone quite far enough. Oh. I've only gone across two thirds. I was getting all excited, you yeah. see. Yeah, keep you quick and pick next to your sewing machine. I did have to pick and pick one or two. When, when you've when it. you've done it, uh, the actual panel of all of those, do you then have to get your ruler and, and square it off, or not square it off, but trim it down, or is it? Uh, no, um, it was it was fairly square. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> surprisingly, Long size, but fairly surprisingly, square. <laughs> it turned out fairly square in the end. Um, you could you could trim it down. You want to be careful because you wouldn't want to lose too much off your off your little squares. No, of course end. not. No. Oh That's yes, all. of course, yeah. Oh, no, of course, you're putting a border on it anyway, aren't you? So yes. That, yeah. Yes, so you can kind of sew it straight with your border if you need to. Exactly. Uh, now, Chantel's in Bournemouth. Right now, Bournemouth's next to Eastbourne, isn't it? Am I getting this wrong? Is Bournemouth next to Eastbourne? Because Bournemouth, it's grey, sky and raining. I thought they were next door to each other, Bournemouth and Eastbourne. Now, I've got a bit, bit of a pickle with that one. Oh, no, why? What's so happened? I, I've got, you can see, I've gone a little, I've got not gone oh, far enough or yes. I've gone too far, yeah. which is, is what will happen, but you can just get your own picker on it yeah, and exactly. have another go. This side's okay, just need to have another go across Brilliant. the top. So, literally, you just make the front panel and then cut the, the, when did you put the handles on before you bound the top or did you completely bind it? No, I'd completely it? bound it. The very last thing I did was stitch the, the handles, handles on. on. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, right, you're back in an hour. Yes. And you're doing oh a new a new the new bakery um Yes. Doorstop and a cushion. Not that we're making her do twice the twice the projects in the hour, but <laughs> uh, because it's new year, new skill. It's applique and making three D sewing. I think that's what it's called, this one. So thank you very much indeed. I'll just go yeah. through these for you. Morning team, love in the bag. It's snowing in Perth this morning from Anne. It can stay up there. That's fine, as long as it doesn't come down here. I went out in the break to check if it was snowing here, and it was not snowing here yet, so that's all right. The book on its own, right, hang on, I'm a bit messy here, right, book on its own. This is this one here. The, the bundle of the two books is sold out. This is the book on its own here, 14 99 Remember, the book does not come in the bundle, so you need the book separately from the bundles. That's fourteen ninety nine for the So Beautiful Quilted Bags book. This is all bags in this book. You see, the other one's got more um, other other projects in it as well. It's lovely. Beautiful, beautiful book, that one. £14.99. Spend some of your Christmas money on that. Oh, Carol says, you keep saying new year, new hobby, new year, new skills. I am learning a new stitching crochet called waffle. What are you saying, Carol? What are you saying? I'm waffling. It's because we've been told we've got an email from the management. I have to keep saying it. I'll, I'll be bored of it tomorrow. Oh, I'm not in tomorrow. Right. Bundles or the other book. Bundles first. Right. The black one is sold out. Oh, okay. It's sold out as in there's way too many people got it in the basket. You do need to check out if you want it. A lot of you are going to be disappointed because you won't get it. There's the black one. That's the one that uh, Catherine was just using. No, she's already made at home, not just using there. That's the one she made at home. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Remember, you do not get the book in there. But you will have lots of fabric left over of the coloured fabric. The, the black fabric you won't. The one we're working with was the pinky one. Oh, now, I can't remember which one they sent the wrong fabric up with, Hannah. Okay. $21.99, there you get the rose uh, fat quarters, you get the faux leather brown, and you get the nude. There you go, there's your fat quarters. So that's that one. Which colour next then, Hen? Yellow. There you go. So the yellow, you get the brown faux handle, the nude, and the four ye lemony yellow fat quarters. Beautiful for Easter. $21.99. There it is. 
Then we have the green one. They're all very popular, these. So you get the nude, the meter of nude, the brown handle, and the green fat quarters in that one. $21.99. Gorgeous. Now, I've also got two other bundles. I've got a navy blue bundle here. This is designer uh, fat quarters, this one. So you get your meter of your navy blue. No. Then, because it's navy blue, Jesse. Then you get your black faux leather handles. You get a, a fat quarter of nude, a fat quarter of blue, a fat quarter of blue flowers, and a fat quarter of blue ditzy vine. 27 no time from Riley Blake, that one. Gorgeous. Then we also have the red. Well, it's not red. Paprika. Paprika. Da, 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 da. Paprika. Right. Then you get the black hat. Ha both Hannah and I both started singing that song at the same time. <laughs> That's sad. We're turning into each other. So you get a meter of your paprika. You get your black candles. Then you get your ladybirds on green. You get your ladybirds on blue. You get your paprika spot. And you get your lovely green uh, wildlife, not wildlife, woodland. Uh, no, it's called wildlife or something, that one, isn't it? Anyway, 27, nine, wildflower, 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 nearly there. <laughs> 27.99. Right, is that it? Oh, have I done everything? The other book. I haven't done the other book yet. Then I'm dismissed, apparently. Don't know who will be presenting after the break. 12.99. Oh, Elliot wants to present today. £12.99. This is the other bag. Now, this one has other projects in it, like pouches and, and I, what's that there? iPad holders, pencil cases and things like that. £12.99. Jesse got a pencil case for Christmas. And then he was a bit upset because he didn't put anything in it. <laughs> he did ask for a pencil case, but then he thought they'd just put pens and things in it. £12.99. Right, don't go anywhere. After the break, it's me with irons galore and a big iron and a rose gold iron. I've got a steamer. I've got a circular cutter. I've got all sorts. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking. Quilting. Homewares. And needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family. And share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out.
Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. I've got it completely wrong. I thought Bournemouth was next door to Eastbourne, right? Apparently Bournemouth is in Dorset, Eastbourne is in East Sussex. So Eastbourne's near Brighton. But you just carry on, surely you just carry on along the bottom of the country, don't you? I'll have to look at a map later. Anyway, Lynn said, sorry I'm late, John, good morning. Been taking Christmas decorations down. I also want to thank everyone at Sewing Street. You've all helped me get to my ha get my happy place back with crafting. You're all so clever and inspirational. You've helped me over a very sad four years. You're all lovely, and I'm watching the channel right now. Hello, Lynn. She's watching right now. She's watching right now, is Lynn. Oh, Lynn. Yeah, because it came up on um, my Facebook yesterday, didn't it, Hannah? That, was it five years ago we launched Sewing Quarter? Was that? It was anyway. It came up because it was yesterday. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Anyway, 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 anyway. I've got irons galore, pressing irons. This is my ironing station. So I've got the big iron coming up in a minute. I've got the lovely Beldre steamer coming up in a minute, but I need to talk to you about this first of all. This came back in on, was it my first day back after Christmas, right? And there was a mix up. Do you remember there was a mix up with the thing and I was like slamming it around, right? Anyway, we had loads of these in. How many have I got left? Seven left, that's all. Seven left. Now, what it is, is it sits in this lovely um, cradle, thank you, but you can use it in two different ways, right? So if you want to use it like a normal iron that's plugged in all the time, right, you can do. You see, it sits like that. Um, it's got fantastic... Well, now, when did I put it back on? Let me just make sure. Oh, I haven't got any water in it. That could be... Oh, I have got water in it. No, I've got water in it. It is steam. It is... There we go. There we go. 
Look. Fantastic stick. Oh, oh, I've just, I've done it before it's too, because uh, we've, no, it, it is anti-drip, but I'll tell you what I did was I, I, we've only just switched it on. We've only just switched it back on. So it's not warmed up properly. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I've got it everywhere. Let yours warm up until it's warm enough before you do the, do the steam like that. Yeah. Anyway, so, also it would help if we had it on hot and not on cool. That's obviously why. No, Hannah was in charge of setting this up. <laughs> right, yes. Right, I've got, to, I've got to be very careful. Health and safety have been in, you see. There's a lot of leads going on. Anyway, I'll show you that again in a minute. What I'm going to try and say is, you can either use it like this, with the cord already on it, or if you pop it on its cradle, you see here it's got a switch. If you switch the switch right up like that to the top, it then comes away so it can become a completely cordless iron. Obviously, you need to keep re returning it to its cradle for it to heat up in between sessions. Now, it's £34.99. pence. If you go to the Beldre website right now, this minute, you can see how much they sell it for. This is Beldre, the people who, who make it. There it is. £49.99. Exactly the same iron. At uh, forty nine ninety nine, there it is. Oh, oh, what's what you doing? Sorry if you've got a big telly at your home. That'll have frightened the life out of you, wouldn't it? So isn't it brilliant? Forty nine ninety nine. That's if you want to go there. Now, by all means, go there. That's fine. That's fine. You can go there. Five left now. Five left now. So what if you want this? You might have to go there later, might you? Because this might have sold out. We've only got five. $34.99. And at Beldre itself, uh, $49.99. Robert says hello. Hello, Robert. Yeah, no, Sally Ann used it yesterday and we, she matched her outfit to it, didn't she? Right, let's have a look, see what happens this time. There you go. There you go. It just wasn't plugged in not for long enough, was it, Hannah? Um, really good. So you can either have it cordless like that. It has all the other things on. It has the dial to go all the different temperatures. It's got a self-clean. It's got an anti-calcium. It's got, it comes with a water jug. It comes with this cradle. It comes with 1.8 meters of cable. Um, and it's brilliant. And also what I love is it's got this little rim here. So when you're ironing shirts, don't touch the iron, John, when it's switched on. <laughs> when you're ironing shirts, you see, you can get right the way close up to the button, go around the buttonholes. I hate it when you, when you iron your shirt and you can't get near to the button and everything. £34.99. Um, I've got literally four, did you say, left? Three left now. I have three left now. £34. And now remember, if you paid your PMP already for the early bird or something like that, you don't pay again. It's three ninety-five for day, no matter how many things you buy. Gorgeous. Has the snow arrived with you yet? Apparently it's snowing in rugby. Snowing in Scotland. At thirty-four ninety-nine. Brilliant. Keep going through for that. Just keep going through for that. Right. While I'm doing Beldre, shall I do this? Or shall I do this? Yeah. This has not been in stock for ages and ages and ages. Oh no, it's gone down. Right, okay, we've got good stock in, right? Uh, and already we're less than 20. Ignore that there, ignore that there. Just look at me here. Right, so this is your water tank here. Now, it does come with a little jug, right? It does come with a jug, but you can take the whole of this out. In fact, uh, uh, let me show you. Oh, I don't know if you can take it out while it's on. While it's, oh no, there you go. The whole tank comes off and this little stopper here, you just take that little stopper off and I filled it with the, with the water in the stopper like that straight away. Goes in there, got a little maximum on the thing. It's got how much water you can put in. Right, so when you first switch it on, this light here starts flashing. The machine, don't be worried that the machine then makes a sort of noise that sounds a bit like it's passing wind. Do not worry, that's just the water heating up, right? It's lightweight, it's anti-scale, and it's vertical steam, because look, this is your switch here. Right, watch, 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 watch. Look, can you hear it? It's just building up now. It's just building up to the steam. 
You can, oh, it's not, it's not very good on the grey background, is it? Look. No, hang on then. Oh, here you go, here it comes. Right, now if you want it to switch it on and not keep the button pressed, you can just look. Can you see? Can you see? Now, if you're steaming curtains, I'll just switch that off again. If you're steaming curtains, if you're steaming clothes, upholstery, anything like that, you've got a lovely long wire, metre and a half wire, well, here's the, here's the box, right? But also, you also have this to clip on the front. So if you want to do lint or brushes, you can do this side up. It goes on there like that. Don't put it on while it's hot. Wait for it to, you can put it on when it's cold before you use it. Um, it comes with that automatically for $24.99. Suitable for all fabrics. Includes two-in-one fabric and lint brush. That's this. Right? You've also, you can fresh, refresh curtains, steam garments, refresh sofas, 1200 watt power, 260 milliliter easy to fill water tank, 45 to 50 seconds to heat up, 12 to 15 minutes of continuous steam, compact freezy storage, 1.9 meters of cord, power cord, and the brush there. It's also an anti, anti, um, anti scale, anti scale. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right, price comparisons. This is on Beldre's website itself. Five pounds more. Five pounds more than was. Right? Still saving five pounds. That's from Beldre. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it just squirted there without me touching it. Uh, then you can go to George. George Astor, 30 pounds. 30 pounds. These are all right now. These are current right now. And that's it, doing some curtains, using one hand. And then Robert Dias. Oh. Right, okay. At 28 pounds 28 pounds and 99 pence. That's doing a shirt, a polyester shirt. You can do cotton shirts as well, same as mine. Anyway, that's the way you just keep the steam going on constantly, so you don't have to keep your button pressed in. If you just want to um, do it on its own, just press it in on its own like that. It's very lightweight and has the water tank there. It does, obviously, this bit here gets hot. So please, please, please be careful when using it. £24.99. The what? The Beldre Rose Gold 2 one aisle has now sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Good. Bye. Right. How are we doing with the Beldre at Steamer then? Oh, nine left now. Nine left once you've all checked out. I mean, it's lovely. It's brilliant. And, and, and so easy, to, you know, where are you going to put it? Under the stairs. Stack, put it where under the stairs when you're not using it. You're not getting into the stairs cupboard. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I like that. My friend Jill did that with hers. So it's got an open space, like an alcove. Oh, can't fit anything in it. Gorgeous. Right, I'm going to unplug that one now. Because you do get your little jug with it as well. Now, the thing is, as I say, this is the jug that comes with it. You could just top it up using that. But if you just need to fill the whole tank, then just take the tank off and um, take it across the sink, right? Little jugs are quite useful because we always keep losing ours in here, don't we? Oh no, hang on, let me put it down there. <coughs> I need to make space for a big iron. Put it under the stairs, John. Right, okay, so. I've only got four left of these. Four left, that's all we've got left now. I don't know if we're going to get any more. Um, I doubt it, but I, um, I can't say that. Came all, it comes from Dukey. It will be direct, sent to you direct from um, Franklin's in Colchester. Uh, now, you're most probably looking at it thinking, why would I need a great big iron like that? Well, let me tell you, first of all, this here weighs 1.5 kilos. Very, very similar to a normal, regular iron. It's got a lovely cork handle so it doesn't get hot. Um, you can use it, I mean, obviously it's a steam iron, but you don't have to use it as a steam iron. You can use it as a dry iron. I need to point this out, right? It's £299, three split payments of 99.66, no interest charge. £50 off. £50 off. If we do get it back, I doubt we'll get the £50 off, will we? 
Anyway, it's made by Dukey, their industrial uh, unit. So they make the riveters and everything like that. It's really, really, really built to last. What you need to see on this is this. Are you ready? Look at the steam. Look at the power of that steam. Whether you're pressing clothes, whether you're steaming curtains, whether you're steaming a mattress, whether you're steaming... Uh, Gary said, just put my, my shirts on a hanger in the morning, do that, it'll steam them out completely. I, I didn't think of that this morning, I should have done that this morning. Um, it's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And I say, we've only got four left. We've only got four of these left. What you do is you fill it with water here. Make sure you fill it up at the start of the day while it's still cold. This is a pressurised container in here, obviously. Now, don't worry, this won't come off. You can twist and turn it, it's not going to come off because it's one of those you need to press down and turn, press down and turn. So if you're worried about the children or somebody in your family that might think, oh, just fill it up with water, you, it's really, really difficult to get off. But I would suggest filling it with cold water in the morning. It comes with this bottle, right? It comes with this bottle, which has got one of, it's really good. So it's got one of these, you know, I, I, when you turn it over like that, when you press it down, it allows the water to go into the tank. It will stop when the tank is full. So you don't worry about it, it's just dribbling a bit there. So uh, that's an easy way to fill it up. You can turn, this is the pressure for the steam. There's a little, um, hang on, little dial back here. That's just pressure of your steam. You don't have to have it on as full pressure uh, as I've got it on now. You've also got on the iron itself, it's got the normal, you know, the one, the two and the three. In fact, I haven't even got it on the, the hot totty. Oh yeah, there you go. The one, the two, the three dial like you have on a normal iron. At the front here, You've got your two switches, right? One is to switch it on, one is to switch the steam on. Um, what happens is the light goes off, one of the lights goes on, and this light goes on uh, uh, until, it, until it's ready to heat, right? If the water tank starts looking empty, right, then this will flash. The red light will flash, which means you have to stop, let it cool down. But it works for ages and ages and ages with, with just one tank of water. It's got the silicon um, mat there. Oh, that's a bit hot. Silicon mat there that you keep your iron on. And I, I mean, really, 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 it is a fantastic iron. Now, you're thinking, well, I don't do heavyweight. I don't do any heavyweight fabrics, right? Well, look. The, oh, this is nice. We've got these back in stock, look. These are back in stock. It's the cushion quilt. Now, this isn't the one with the cutting mat on the back. This is purely one to press on and to um, block, uh, square off and block your um, knitting blocks, your, your, your quilting blocks and things like that. It's back in stock. It's, it's bigger than the one with the cutting board on. Yeah, this is 42.99. Again, I'll just tell you very quickly, this is done by June Taylor. These won't ever change. These sizes of these won't ever change because they've got people that develop products and everything. And this, what they do is they paint it onto the fabric and then they bake it. And when they bake it, it shrinks. So those squares are exactly an inch and will always stay an inch. I like the fact that the measuring is on the outside of the square so you can put the block on and it's not covering up the size measurements and everything. They're absolutely brilliant. So I'm just showing that because I'm going to use that now. So... If you, here we go, so if you're used to using wools, I'll leave these scrunched up so that they can, uh, we can give them a good press. There you go. So, I don't know if, can you, am I in the right place for you to be upstairs, Jesse? Okay, right, okay. So, wool. Look how beautifully that presses. You can see the air because the seam is so powerful. You can see the, st the air underneath the fabric. If you don't want to press it like that, you could always just seam it like that to get rid of your creases. So if you're using a, this 100% wool, in fact, this is a Catherine, Catherine Wright wool, this one. Anyway, so that's wool. But if you use cottons, look. Right, this is really, really, really creased, isn't it? Are you ready? Imagine doing your shirts or doing your clothes with that. Or lots of fabric in your stash. Got lots of fabric. Look at that. You could make it so exquisite. Oh, you know what? What else? Sheets. 
sheets for your bed. How difficult are they to get really, I love really, really lovely crisp sheets and everything on the bed. So that, so you can use it with any sort of fabric like that. I'm just wipe the table. Now, we also, in this day and age, we want to kill germs and all that sort of stuff, don't we? Because it's all about sanitising and things like that. They say that your mattress after 10 years is twice the weight it was when you bought it because it's full of like old dead skin cells and poo from little animals. You know, I don't mean dogs and cats, I mean the little bed buggy type things, right? Steam it. Steam is one of the best sanitizers, isn't it? If your curtains get a little bit, if you've got great big curtains, it costs a fortune to say, because they weigh them, don't they, before they go to thing. Um, you can just steam them. Then you're thinking, well, how am I going to get this great big machine to my iron, uh, to, my, to my curtains? Or indeed, if you're thinking, you might not want this on your ironing board, because it's going to take, or your ironing board maybe not strong enough, but also it might take up too much space. You don't have to because look, apart from it comes with the bottle, also comes with a measuring jug which seems to have disappeared, also comes with this. Right, so it comes with a little trolley. This could sit underneath your ironing board. This fits exactly on here, so it makes it completely portable. So if it's underneath your ironing board, the cable, look, is long enough to do your ironing on your ironing board, that's not a problem. But also, if you need to wheel it to some curtains, you get a, a, a 1.8 or 1.5 metre uh, cable on it as well. Um, you can just wheel it to your different, you know, kind of um, the curtains or the mattress or the, or the city that just needs freshening out. If you've got pets, if you've got cats that sleep on the sofa, dogs that jump onto the sofa, it's just a fantastic desanitizer or sanitizer, whichever way it is. £299. No interest charge if you do it on split payment. Three split payments of £99.66. and pence. We've only got four left. There's only four left. Everyone who's bought them, or most of the people who bought them, message me saying how brilliant they think they are. They do come directly from Franklin's. They are sitting there waiting to come Tuesday. They're back to work today. Oh, they might have been back already. They are ready to be shipped out to you now. And you still only pay £3.95 post of packaging. I know. Not extra as included in your days, in your whole day shopping. Did you say the question, Hannah? No? Okay, I'll move on then. Okay, let's move over to the other side. I've done everything on this side now, haven't I? Move over to the other side now. Let's go to the shop. Oh, here I am. Gone too far. Too far, too far. Uh, I wish it would snow in Bournemouth. It only ever rains, says Robert. Oh, never mind. Can we do what? Glue. Now, when we did this with Janice the other day, we sold out of this, right? We've got some back in stock. I don't know how many I've got. Oh, 11 left. We had loads this morning. 11 left of these. They just fly out. The Glutamins Adhesive Solvent Textile Glue. What's wrong with your program? It's so bad I can't watch it. So, Carol, do you mean the presentation or do you mean the quality of the show? They could cross, but she could mean bit of both. Four ninety nine. This is four ninety nine. Oh dear, that's worried me a bit now. Anyway, these will all go. There's only eleven of them. Uh, and now it has got solvent in it, but we can't, it's fine. It can be posted to you. Keep going through for that. 4 99 always sells out. Always, always, we haven't got a project for it to go to, but it always sells out. If you do handbag making or anything like that, this, or purse making, then this is ideal. You need this. Single figures already. Single figures. Back, oh, it's a bucket and spade. Just go. Back in stock, spare blades. They're so easy. They come in a little plastic container. There's three of them in there. Eight ninety nine. It's always important to have a very, very sharp blade in your rotary cutter. You get three in there, and they come in a little plastic. Um, Container, so nice and safe. Oh, that is that. Nice and safe in there. And it tells you on the back which ones it'll fit. Um, so it's uh, suitable for uh, So Easy Rotary Cutters and the model names. And most brands such as Ulfa, Fiskars and Kai. 
They're, now, they're all straight blades in there. On the back, don't be confused by that. They use the same packaging for both. I just showed, 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 showed the packaging for both the zigzaggy ones. They're all straight, those. Beautiful. £8.99. Mark, people multi-buying. People multi-buying because it's always good to have sharp blades. Especially new year, new project, new skill. New hobby, new blade. Oh, I'll be bored of saying this by the end of the week, don't worry. I'm only in one more day this week and then I can forget about it, yeah. Where am I going next? Forty-five millimeter rotary cutter. Yeah, that one there. I've also got one in clover as well. I'll do the millwood first. This is the most affordable 45mm rotary cutter we have. It has the lock here for the blade. Um, it can be left-handed or right-handed. He Oh, now, am I saying that? Am I saying that? Hang on. I'm going to open it. No, I want to check. I don't want to sell you something and then it's not right. Oh, right, okay, yes, it's left-handed or right-handed, because look, if you just show this, the blade comes out the top. So yes, you can use it with your stripology. You can use it as a left-handed or a right-handed, because the blade comes straight out of the top there. Very easy to change the blade, you just unscrew that, tells you on the back there, and shows you how to change the blade. While most affordable, it's got the a ridged here, soft touch at the side here. Eight pounds and 99 pence, that's made by Millwood. And you know mill because we sell lots of mill with rulers and ruler racks and all sorts of things um, beeswax all sorts most affordable 45 millimeter rotary cutter that we do 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 right here oh no oh no it's all right i thought there was one open here but there isn't it's fine put it in there okay next I've got the clover one here as well. Oh, now this one, you, you, with this one, to make it left and hand right, no, left and right handed, you can swap the, the thing round so it makes it to a left handed or a right handed because the blade comes out to the side. I'm, oh, I can open it because it's some. It's not. Oh, he says. Well, normally the cardboard, this one just slides out. It's not going to do it on this one. Oh, yeah, here you go. Right, so you see this one, if you press it down like that, you see how the blade goes to the side, right? That makes it right-handed. What you do is you unscrew this, you turn this round, and the blade will come out that side, which makes it left-handed. And you know which one you're on, because look, there's a big R, can you see that there? There's a big R there for right-handed. When you turn it over, it has a big L for left-handed. Well, we're not having graphics for this one. Oh, no. Right, take the graphics. The graphics have suddenly started play, me, playing up. Elliot's in. It's fine. He can sort it. Okay, which one would you like me to go to next while you're sorting that out? 28 millimeter rotary cutter for little close work. Okay, I'll put that over there. Right, here's the 28 millimeter version, exactly the same as the Clover 45, but the blade is 28 millimeter. Okay, the, the graphics are working on the website, they're just not working on the telly or on Facebook Live. Oh, where's Elliot? 28 millimetre. How much are they then, please? £8.99. 28 millimetre for fine cutting these. If you need the product code, it is. I can tell you, I've got it. XP. Oh, excuse me. 
XPZW09. I'll, sh I'll show you, actually. There it is. Can hear Elliot charging into the rescue. Well, he's like a bull elephant, isn't he, Elliot? Carol, what's the matter? She's just saying help now. Yes. It, you must. Did you know this was going to happen, Carol? We well, think it's regional because Susan's just said it's fine in Staffordshire. Oh, is it the snow? Carol, have you got snow? Could be the snow. Won't make the programme any better, but it might make you see the picture better. I'll do the fabric cutter now, circular. Right, so this, now on the picture on the website, this is how yours will arrive in this packaging, packaging, right? There is a blade in it. On the picture on the website, they've forgotten to take a picture of the blade, right? So I'll show you how it works now. You must, you do need a cutting mat. You do need your cutting mat out, right? So what this machine, do, not machine, this ruler tool does, it cuts perfect circles, right? So when you open your packet, this is what's inside. Oh, that's not it. This is what's inside. So you get the ruler, the Fiskars ruler, with all the different circles. And that goes from a 2 inch to a 12 inch, including a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, and you can basically cut perfect circles. Now, I was practicing earlier before you came in. So I just need to fold the fabric again. So what you need to do is you need to get your fabric, iron it first, fold it along where you want to cut it. Right, so let's just do that. Look, there's a perfect circle I cut earlier, look. So now, there we go. See, what you do is you've got your crease along the, the fabric here. You put your ruler down, lining up the fold of the fabric with this solid black line across here. Solid black line there. If you've got a pattern on the fabric as well, you could follow this line down the middle here, which gives you your straight of grain. Then what you do is you decide how big a circle you want to make. You then get your cutter. Now, it has got a um, cover on it. It comes with a cover on it. Once you've taken the cover off, please be careful because the blade is inside there. And literally, as you, as you um, press down, the blade will come out. So please don't pick it up like that because you, you've just got to be very careful. You see the two nodules? Now, somebody's very kindly put two purple felt pen marks on this one. <laughs> I've never seen those before. Oh, there's only nine of these left. Oh, actually, I, don't, I haven't told you how much it is. £31.99, and the code is RQ ZW 51. Right, okay, so then you choose which size circle. So let's say we're going for an 8 inch circle, right? So you've got your lines lined up with the solid lines on there. You then, you see the two nodules there. You slide the two nodules in. I said 8 inch, didn't I? There we go. You slide the two nodules in to the 8-inch groove. And what you do is don't push it down, just push it around to make sure that it's not impeded in its root, right? Then you literally press the top down. Oh, no, I've just, I don't see my, I went in properly. There you go. Press the top down, slide around the half circle, right? Take it off, put the top back on, take your ruler off, and hopefully, look, there's your perfect circle. Right, let's just open it up for you. There you go. Look, so that makes your perfect... Oh, no! Makes your perfect circle. I might have some more fabric under the desk that I can use rather than chase around to the front. Right, now, I know what you're saying. You're thinking, what happens if you want a circle made of two halves? Because that doesn't have any seam allowance in it. Well, what you do for that is you do exactly the same... Oh, that's a bit grubby. What's that? <laughs> I just got it right to the desk. Instead of putting it along the fold, you put it along the raw edge. Right, hang on, let's put this right back around there. Ah, uh, no, I've, I've got the iron over there. So, never mind. so this way, instead of putting the, the, um, 
the line across the fold here, he puts it across. Now, obviously, you've squared yours off because these aren't these aren't squared off at all. I haven't practiced with this bit here. Well, only because the practice bit's on the floor at the front. Now. So then what you do is you get your ruler on this one. Instead of placing it on the solid line, you can you see here there's a dotted line underneath, quarter an inch down, there's a dotted line. Um, you, I'm not, I can't do that. It's not, it's not square enough. It's making me feel a bit queasy. Right, hang on a sec. Let's do it. I could do it this way around. Uh, oh, come on, John. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm going to use the salvage because it's that uh, straight. Eight left. Eight left. So what you then do is say you want half circles that you're going to sew together. Obviously, you wouldn't use the salvage. I'm just using it now as a straight edge. You put the straight edge along the dotted line there. Oh, ow. And then what you do is you choose, like, say, a five-inch um, circle. I've got the cuff on. That's why it won't slit on. Five inch. No, I put it away for safety, didn't I, before? Right, so let's put that in the groove. There you go, there you go. And you literally pop it down. You go round, you put the blade cover back on. Right? Now, this time, oh, let's just miss that little bit there. This time, you've got your two half circles. But there's quarter of an inch seam allowance on either of those. So you could do two pink ones and then you could join them together like that and you make your perfect circle. Um, now, this comes with it and this comes with it. For your th was it 31 99 did you say? 31 99 um, You can get new blades this. We haven't got them today. But obviously, you need to keep that blade just as sharp as your rotary cutter blade. You don't, you know, you do need to... They're very easy to change. You literally just take the top off here. The blade unit is in there. I don't think we've got any on the website at the moment, have we? The blade unit is inside there. Excuse me, it's very, very easy to change the blade. Very nifty tool. Thank you, Jesse. Right. Let's put all those away then. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, how else would you cut a circle, you see? Apart from having a compass round a plate and it slides, I suppose. Uh, you could do a piece of string on a pencil and go around like that. And you've still got to cut it out. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, hang on. Uh, Derek, I find the 28 millimetre is ideal when cutting out face masks. Thank you, Derek. That was the rotary cutter. And Lynn says it's fine working where she is. Picture is fine. Mind you, it's not sewing where Claire is. So I think it might be regional, Carol, my love. Yeah. Right. Shall we move on? Beeswax. Hand sewing. If you do hand sewing, this is good old-fashioned beeswax, this. Just run your thread through the beeswax, conditions the thread, uh, stops knotting, and stop, it stops, um, you know, kind of when you pull it through, it usually stops the knotting, makes it slide through smoothly. £2.49 this is. The code is G L Z W 37 I'm sorry, the graphics will be working again in a minute. We're just running them through the... Oh, oh dear. Oh, what was that? Gorgeous beeswax. And you've even got the grooves there. You don't need to have the beeswax out. You just pull the thread through the grooves. Get into the groove, because you've got to prove your love to me. Gorgeous. I've got 28 millimetre blade spare. Oh no, they're not for the circle cutter. No, they're not for the circle cutter. Let me just show you. I'm just going to show you. Very, look, the circle cutter blade looks like this. That's a circle cutter blade. The whole unit like that. That's not these. That's the, the blade for the, for the um, circle cutter. Okay, so these are for your 28 millimetre. You cut your masks out like... What's happened? 
Oh, my microphone went, apparently. It's back now. Oh, no. apparently, it was when we... Has it gone off again? It's, it says it's on, but the orange light's flashing now. AF peak, it says. <laughs> so you can't see what it is, you can't hear what it is either. Every time I say Derek's name, it cuts out. It didn't that time. Oh, is he fine? These are six ninety nine. these blades. I'm just switching my microphone off. I've been chatting away to you. The microphone's been switched off. <laughs> anyway, we're back now. Uh, it's not Gremlins, it's Elliot, says Marion. Oh, I'm confused. If you want these plates, is, is the graphics working yet? Is it? Go on then. I can Z W. 43. <laughs> okay, while we try and fix the computer, we are doing a search for a sewing star competition. I'll show you the slide. Here it is. Oh, we only got that's all we got, is it? So you go to www.sewingstreet.com for details of how to enter. So if you go to the website, you can see how to enter. What you have to do is you have to... Now, there's two voices on the voiceover. Oh, actually, we can ask Elliot about that, can't we? Uh, there's two voices on the voiceover. So let me, throw, let me just play the VT for you. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Make sure you do it landscape. Otherwise, Elliot will have a meltdown. You know what he's like. Um, and also, you could be like Dawn Taylor or Debbie Harry or uh, Delph was Delphine a search for stars? Who else wasn't she? Delphine. Who else? Who else is a search for star? Anyway, you could. That could be you. That could be you. Okay, should we put something in and see if it works? What shall we do? Guterman thread bundle with money off, please. Thank you very much indeed. Because the kerfuffle will take some money off this, right? So there are four boxes here. 40 threads you've got in there. Hang on, I've got orange. They're cotton. They're cotton. They're sew all polyester. They're sew all polyester. Right, to say sorry, we're going to take some money off. Okay, let's take £10 off. Oh, okay, I've just said £10. It's supposed to be £5, but never mind. We've done 10 now. 49.96. Now, I've got all of these available on their own, but you won't get a discount on them on their own. It's just a little sorry 
49.90. Do you know what? That's really good. 49.96. For how many threads? 40 threads. Fantastico. Yeah, it is Vixen Stewart on the voiceover, Margaret. 49.96. Two cotton, two polyesters. Fantastico. It's got a little thimble on that one, look. Lovely colours, beautiful colours. That's all you need, really, isn't it? All you need to know. Oh, no, I was going to sing Shake and Vac then. That wasn't right. <laughs> Can't sing that. Hannah's allergic to it. 49 96 For all of those, all of those, you've got £10 off. £10 off. Is somebody making a salad in there now? It's not eating, it's the bowl I can hear. Have you got to put it in a china bowl? Yeah. <laughs> it's 10 to 11 and she's uh, finished her lunch now. 49.96. Value packs there. Well, they're even more value pack now. I know. Right, okay, moving on. Oh, we are going to do each of them separately. Okay, which one? Cotton. Natural. Blimey. This is, these are all cotton threads in the natural, Fourteen ninety nine. Not crashing, that's your price. But they're cotton, remember, cotton. Oh, natural in polyester now. That's that one. Not called, yeah, assorted, we've called it, not natural. There you go. 14 99 That's still good value because it makes them 149 each, doesn't it? And they're normally more than that if you buy them individual. Yeah, she's come across the lettuce now, the crunchy lettuce. Cotton blue. Oh, it was a radish, not lettuce. Oh, dear. Never mind, Jesse. One o'clock. Beautiful. And then we've got the polyester in the blues and greens. Value pack. Ten threads, fourteen ninety nine. Uh oh. Here we go. $14.99. These are the blue and green in the So All polyester. This one's... <laughs> I'm not doing the whole demonstration again. Right, if you missed this earlier, uh, you didn't... You, did, you saw the demonstration. There were no graphics in while we did it. The Fiskars. $31.99, circle fabric cutter. You get the, in the picture on the website doesn't show the blade. You do get the, the whole blade unit with it. Perfect circles made simple by Fiskars. Uh, and also, Jesse, it wasn't packed, never used to be packed like this. It's a new packaging. Mm hmm. Thirty-one ninety-nine. Make sure you go through for that. Very popular this morning. This morning, do do be do. -do. Yeah. Well, as long as you tell me. Yeah. Here we go. We've got quilter's tape and we've got wash away quilter's tape. This one is double sided, this one's single sided. This one's wider, this one's eight millimeters, that's six millimeters. You get 30 yards on that one, you get. El no, hang on, that can't be right. It says there's 30 yards on that one, only 11 yards on that one. Thicker, is it? Okay. This is the one you use uh, when you're putting a zip in and things like that for bag making, stuff like that. This is more like just a one-sided tape. And you mark up lines with it and everything. There you go. 
6.99, 10 metres, it's 8 millimetres wide, £6.99. Lovely. Lots of you coming in for that. Make sure you put it in your stash. Fifu, I love this product. It can be used in so many ways, says Christine in Buckinghamshire. Five star review. Jill's Fifu. Lots of people loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Single sided, more for marking. You can mark up your mannequin using this and everything. So it's just like one side, like a very fine masking tape, this one. And your quilting lines on your, machine, on your uh, quilt. Look. You can use tape as a guide when quilting to obtain evenly spaced stitching. It holds pleats as you form them. Do not press over the tape. Use tape instead of pins to indicate a skirt length. Use tape to mark pants length. It means trousers, hem length. Great to use when doing alterations. Prevent scratching when garment is being tried on. Uh, Holds loops in place as you sew them on, like if you're doing little rouleau loops. Holds ruffles in place as you sew. Example for pillows and collars. Do not iron over the tape. Do not leave the tape on fabric longer than one day. It's quite specific, isn't it? £1.99. You can't put zips in and things with that one. Applique pins. These are little, little, little pins. Very cute. 6.99, you get 150 in there. They're very, very sharp. I'm not sure if we're doing a plique in the next hour, but I'm not sure if Catherine's using those. But you can see how you use them. I tell you, she uses these a lot. Yvonne Macadamney, Mrs. Macadamia Nut, she uses these a lot. I wonder when she's in next. I know what. No, 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 you don't need to look. Oh, yeah, in that lovely bag book earlier, they'd be good for all the tiny little bits of applique because there was applique for flowers, needle turn applique and things like that. It's very good for things like that. Six ninety nine. Fabulous. I know what we have to do very, very quickly, because we've only got a couple of minutes left. I don't want to, I don't want to um, tell you what, how to produce a show, but I just need to go through. These are Tula Extra Wide Backings. They're part of a new range. 108 inches wide. Saturdays, they're called. Let's do pineapple first. Right, on the website it looks green. It's not. It's definitely, as you can see. Oh, the quality's gorgeous. I think a lovely summer frock out of this. Right, satinized cotton. It's 108 inches wide and it's beautiful quality. Such gorgeous quality. It's 13.99 for half a metre. Oh, do you know what I'd not noticed before? Is you've got your rainbows, but then the other half is a different colour. Look, there's lilac and lemon and green and pink and blue. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? These would be lovely for curtains in a child's bedroom or something like that, wouldn't they? You'd have to line them, obviously. At $13.99. Beautiful. It's called Saturday's Pineapple. Extra wide backing, 108 inches, 13.99. Now that is bright, 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 bright yellow. And it's satinized cotton, it's lovely. Such a beautiful feel to it, that one. Uh, 
Yeah, like uh, some of caves are satinized cottons, aren't they? Backings, I mean. Okay, next, pink, Tula Pink Pink. Oh, it's in the lead on pre-order. I have to say, I think this is my favourite, actually. 100, 100, I'm only going to open half it. 108 inches wide. Lovely, really. Oh, and my microphone all right again. Something, something went click, click, my end, that was all. Claire, I've never stuck a pin in a famous person. 13.99. Claire asked who was the most famous person I've stuck a pin in during the fitting. No, I haven't. The only, the only person I've stuck a pin in during the fitting is when I was training at Wimbledon School of Art and we'd only made clothes for mannequins. So uh, we, used to, we used to having the pins in our mouth, don't put pins in your mouth. And then when you finish the pin, you just put it in the neck of the mannequin, right? So I was fitting an opera singer and he was wearing a little soldier outfit, like a toy soldier outfit. I was doing his jacket like that. I took a pin, I think, and I just pushed it in his neck like that. <laughs> he was very good. He was very good about it. And then I've got it in the green. I didn't do it again, needless to say. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, no, I tell a fib. There was, no, no, there was, uh, when I was doing Ghost in the Darkness, I put Tom Wilkinson's tie pin in. I didn't stab him with it, but I stabbed my finger with it. And I felt it stab me into my finger. I carried on tying his tie. And then I suddenly realised all this blood was seeping through <laughs> from behind his tie. And it was, it was mine. It wasn't his. It was my blood. It's fine. I was all right. So I was the most famous person I've stabbed. But, well, the opera singer might have turned into somebody famous. I don't know. Or, or I ruined his career. 13.99. Right, 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 right. We're going for a break now. Oh, I, I hope the next hour goes a bit better with graphics and sound. It's not your fault, Hannah. Uh, right, we're going to do two projects in the next hour. No, poor old Catherine, right? She's going to do this doorstop. And she's going to do this cushion. You know that, it's Helen Newton's. We will see you straight after this break with applique and 3D sewing. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to 
uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Fancy a doorstop? It's a brand new one. It's a brand new one we've got here today for you. It's the bakery, this one. It's lovely, isn't it? There it is. It has got things on the side as well. It's got window and, and plants on the side and a door. Oh, it's, oh no, it's not a door. It's a... Um, What's this? Um, a board. What, what? An A board. An A board? Blackboard. That's what they're called. Anyway, an A board. There you go. Right, okay, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really lovely. It's brand spanking new today. Um, if you would like, now, thi uh, this is what threw me earlier, right? This shouldn't be 14 because you're getting a panel, right? And instructions now do not panic when you get this home and it says haberdashery and florist do not panic because all the instructions are the same depending on if you have the haberdashery the florist the bakery any of them they're all the same so it's one pattern does all right so there's not two different patterns in there it's exactly the same pattern for all of the different shops don't panic at the picture on the web because it looks like you're getting the florist and the haberdashery. In this $14.99 bundle, totally not exclusive to us, you get the panel and you get the instructions of how to make it. Oh, that's of course. So look, there you've got, I thought, from a distance earlier, I thought that was a Starbucks. I thought that looked like, with my eyesight earlier, I was like, why well, have they put a Starbucks logo on it? So there's your bakery, there's your window with all your cakes, there's your front door. Then on the side there, you've got bakery written. That's already printed on it, you have to put that there. There's your, oh yes, yes I, now I put my glass on, I can see it's an A, a board. What, a board? Yeah. Then on the other side here, you've got a window with the cat smelling the cooking. And you've got your lovely little tree going on there. Nothing on the back, nothing on the back there. And then you've got your lovely, uh, if you want to hang it, or no, lift it up, lift it up, because it's going to be weighted, isn't it? Oh, what was that? <laughs> $14.99, you can make that. You obviously are going to need uh, pellets and you're going to need stuffing, toy stuffing as well. But the actual basics are all here, look. So you've got your um, bakery front. You've got your bakery back, your bakery sides. You've got your handle. Here's all your extra bits and bobs. So you've got a door. Oh, actually, there's a front door and a back door. Quarter of the stock has gone already. A round window, an arched window, a, a flower box. No, that's not. Window box, window box. Here you've got a hanging basket, the window, the clock. They're all to applique on where you want them, so you can cut them out and applique them on. What's that bit there, then? Oh, it's underneath the window. Underneath the window to match the door. Does it? Okay, so Hannah thinks it looks like call the midwife. She wants to know where the nun is. You've got the roof here. 
You've got the base here, and then that's the roof inside there. You've got the sign that says bakery. Then you get all the instructions of how to make it. Are all there. All included in the price of $14.99. Right, I just want to point something out. This pattern on its own is $9.99. And the pattern on its own is $11.99. Doesn't make sense. Take advantage. Get the bundle. There's the finished one. It's cute, isn't it? I love the colours of that. Pistachio, I call that. Not that I like nuts, but there you go. Gorgeous. Pistachio is a nut. It's green. Hannah likes those. Oh, you got bunting. I've just seen all the bunting as well. You got there and there as well. Stitch with love by. Oh, no, she hasn't put that bit on. <laughs> she just put stitched. Anyway, $14.99 if you want this and this together. Now, if you collect the doorstop, she might already have the instructions, right? Because they're exactly the same for all of them. Panel, the thing is, I, well, anyway, panel on its own, $11.99. You see what I mean? It's worth buying it. Well, anyway, $11.99, the panel. It's a strange price, isn't it? Because they're usually 12 14 or 19 aren't they? $11.99. Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't work here when we did the originals. £11.99, this is. 100% cotton. Exclusive to Sang Street. FPUU49. Lovely. It's a very, I think it's a Yorkshire bakery, isn't it? That looks like Yorkshire stone there to me. Where's, where's, where, call the midwife set? Oh, in London. Could be the East End as well. Panel is 11 99 Right. If you're thinking, I've never seen these before, I'd love these. All they're all on the shelf behind Catherine. I've got a bundle of just the panels that we've had before, right? Previous panels, florist. You get four. You get the florist. Hang on, I've got to then you get the uh, haberdashery shop. You get the sweet shop oh they're different colors look sweet shop and then the pet shop aren't they gorgeous so look pet i'll just show you them very quickly pet shop sweet shop haberdashery shop and florist okay there they all are there's the pet shop, the haberdashery shop, and the sweet shop. Where'd the florist go? Oh, that's weird. It was here earlier. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is. There you go. There are your four panels. Pet, haberdashery, sweet, and florist. Florist what? Oh, is it? Facing the wrong way, apparently. Just turn it around for me, Catherine. There we go. Righty-ho. Now, you don't get the instructions with those. You just get the four. Oh, you're able to get one for free then, look. So 35 97 you're getting one for free. There's no instructions in there because we're thinking you might already have the instructions. Or you might have just bought the bakery and you're thinking, well, I've got the instructions, don't need them again. Save eleven ninety nine. I have got the instructions on their own, though. If you've not bought them, so if you're thinking, "Oh, I'll buy those four, You need the instructions. Nine ninety nine. That's the instructions on their own. Now, do not buy the instructions on their own if you haven't got the panel. They're useless if you don't have the panel. And I don't want people putting on Facebook later. Oh, I've bought this pattern and it doesn't tell me what to cut out the pattern is only good if you've got the panels it does not have pattern pieces in it it does not have sizes to cut out to make your own look so it's brilliant they're brilliant instructions to make from the panel 
but you cannot, you can buy it if you like, it's your 9 99 but it doesn't give you instructions on how to cut them out out of your own fabric sort of thing. I don't want any confusion on there whatsoever. I'm not being negative, I just don't want you to buy the wrong thing. All right, so the other things you're going to need to make this are some polyethylene pellets. I'm not touching the bag because the bag always breaks when I get it. You get a kilo of these. Look, that's what they're like. They're recycled polyethylene. That's to weigh it down. Now remember, you don't, we don't charge you more because that's a kilo. Don't charge you any more for weight or anything like that. That's five ninety nine, and you'll need toy stuffing or filling, cushion filling. Three ninety nine. You might already have, we keep these separate because you might already have these at home. You might want to use sand instead of the um, pellets. It's you know, but totally and utterly personal choice. Now you will need some bondaweb to attach the, the, all the different things to the sides of the houses. We've got two different sizes of Bondaweb. We've got the little packet. If you just can do one project, this will be big enough for one project, won't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. The little packet there will be big enough. If you're just going to do one project, 2 99 Oh, there you go. Julie's got all the door steps. Just needs the bakery to complete the set. Brilliant. Make sure you check out your basket, though, because they're flying out. Now, if you're going to do lots and lots and lots of appliques, your new year, new skill, new project, new thingy, thingy, <laughs> thingy. Uh, the, we're going to do another project as well. It's our, the, the um, cake shop Helen Newton cushion cover. You'll, you'll need Bond Web for that. 23.99. That's five metres, five metres. <clears throat> Keep it in a drawer. Don't leave it on a windowsill. That's all I'll say. When I was training, they used to call this Bondina when I first started training. Right, shall we make a doorstop then? Let's make a doorstop. Right, go. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, on my example, I didn't put every single bit of applique, but you've got lots on here and you yes. can get creative and that's what's really nice about it. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. So I've cut out all the pieces from the panel and then the pieces that you can applique on, before I've cut them up, I have ironed a whole big bit of Bondaweb on the back. You have to be really careful with Bondaweb. It's really good at uh, sticking your iron, unless you've got one of the applique mats. Yes, applique mats, I've got that. Have you got one over there? No, I haven't. Oh, no. Right, applique mats. We talked mat, about you don't know it and it I is. didn't get it. But I think I need one because we are always messing up our, well, this our irons at the craft centre. But when you're working with Bondweb, when you feel it, there's a rough side and a smooth side. The rough side is the sticky bit. So your rough side of Bondweb always goes face down on the wrong side of the fabric. And then you won't get in a mess. And then use this. That's the bond web there. You use this. It's like a silicon. I don't know if it is silicon actually. I wonder what it's made of. Fusible fabric. No. I don't know what it's made of. Reusable non-stick. Doesn't say what it's made of. Teflon. Teflon, that's what it's like, yeah. So basically, if you iron on top of this, if any glue does seep out from your bond web, it goes onto the mat, not onto your iron or your ironing. In fact, it sometimes Better do like that, make a sandwich, and if any seeps out anywhere, it doesn't go on your ironing board or on your iron. This gets very hot, just be careful. And then when it cools down, you can just take off, it just scrape off the, the glue. Six ninety nine. Teflon sheets are very expensive. What, have you got Teflon sheets on your bed? <laughs> this is PTFE Teflon glass fabric. There you go. That's what it is. Right, carry on. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've already... Um, just ironed my bonder web on ready uh -huh. and then you can cut out whichever pieces you like mm -hmm. so we'll do the we'll do the front tree said her hubby bought her core of the cap kit for christmas i've just bought the bonder web he's a keeper well i just want to more than a roll of bonder web myself they bought the kit oh and the kit yeah of course 
I, I really I really like doing applique. It's such a such a nice pleasurable thing mm. to do. Satisfying, isn't it? It really is. Really good to do. We do it a lot with the children because they don't have to worry about pins. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do the little front bit of the shop. Okay. So we'll just snip these ones out. And although I've got the paper on, I am using my fabric scissors. Somehow it doesn't wreck them. No, I always use mine as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm cutting just the bond web. No. But I do once it's attached. That's the fabric. But you've still got the paper, you haven't peeled the paper haven't off. Haven't peeled the paper off no. at this stage, no. Um, I'll just cut that out a little neater. Okay. So when you decide, cut, cut things out, you can decide where you want them to go. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to peel the back of this paper off. Now it's a bit like double-sided sticky tape but I find if you do a tiny little tear in it then you can get into it and you can uh, peel it off. Mm -hmm. If you do have issues you can also just score it with a pin just the paper and then it peels off from the back that way. So. When you've peeled it off it feels slightly rubbery mm -hmm. and you know that it's it's got the adhesive on it okay. Yeah because you're taking the paper off but the adhesive stays yeah. On the on the fabric they fuse it. To. Very occasionally, when you do this, you'll see some of the like the adhesive, and it's almost a little bit of a, like a cobweb. Uh -huh. And if you, that happens, it just means you haven't ironed it on quite enough. So put it back, give it a bit more of an iron, and then you'll reattach it, yeah. and it'll be okay. And don't try and peel the back off while it's still hot. No. Bond webs in the box, pa bond panel, and instructions in the main graphics. There we go. So it's a good idea to do this on your ironing board. Uh -huh. So you're not placing things out and carrying it over because then you're almost certain it's going to blow off blow, or yeah. something. So I can decide where I want them. Move that down a little bit. Remember, you're going to sew it together as well. So you leave a little bit at the bottom for your seam allowance. Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Else you'll lose a bit of your door. OK, so when you're happy with it, you can then iron it down. And that adhesive will activate and it'll all hold in place. And then it's up to you how you want to sew it on really. Right. I did use a little mixture on my, on my uh, sample. There's yeah. a little bit of zigzagging on there. Mm -hmm. Look, got my variegated thread out again, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I was on, side, on a roll yeah. with it, yeah. <laughs> I think I bought them last January when I was watching. The what? The variegated threads. Uh, Hannah's busy talking about which cake she wants out the window. She's not listening to you <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> which one are you going for? The, the, rainbow. The, the rainbow one. I quite like the one with the strawberries. Okay, so when you've got them where you want them, you are just going to stitch round the edge to <laughs> secure them on. Just using a straight stitch. I'm just going to use a straight stitch, but you can use a zigzag. You can use a fancy one. It's quite nice to get your fancy stitches out on the or, machine. Or um, uh, blanket stitch looks nice. Blanket too, stitch looks really nice, actually. I'll come back this way. And as long as they're attached, you can do as much as little as you like uh -huh. on them, really. Um, you just don't want to, you want to have some sewing on them so that eventually they would peel up if you didn't. Yeah. And also, it's not something you're going to throw in the washing machine. It's not like doing a T-shirt or a denim jacket, something like that, that's going to go in the washing machine every week. I love Catherine's demo. It's not me talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love Thanks, Catherine's John. demo. She makes me wish I lived in Leicestershire. Applique is my favourite skill. Come and visit. Come and visit. Leicestershire is nice. Doesn't say where she lives. You just come, come for the weekend. Oh, oh, you invited us to stay? Well, do you know what? There's a hotel literally about three doors down from the craft centre. Oh, is there? There is. A very nice one. Oh. Lots of nice shops. In Market Harbour? Oh, yeah. We're a bit posh, you know. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not, but... Change, then. <laughs> but 
I should go and see my friend Heidi, maybe she lives in that. Oh, okay. Yeah, come to Market Harbour. Come I meet will. your friend, and then I'll, c I'll come and uh, I'll come and have a, a drink with you, John. Cake shop. There's a nice cake shop in Market Harbour. There is actually. Or cafe. Mm. Yeah, lots of nice cafes. I don't think it's that far. How long does it take to get here in the morning? An hour. Oh, okay. Although I'm quite speedy, I am quite a speedy driver. Okay. Although, although I wasn't this morning because it was raining and it was still only an hour. Yeah. So yeah, it's not bad at all. We're There's definitely more traffic this morning than there has been over Christmas as well. Everyone going back, back to work, work today yeah. in school. Yeah. <clears throat> so you've not put anything on the back of the fabric of the, ha of the house, the wall? No. No. no, it's quite nice sturdy cotton actually. Yes. So it's yeah, quite nice and easy to sew. Mm -hmm. So we've just put those ones on. Now, obviously you can put more. Oh, shall I show you how to do the bunting? Oh yes, please. Um, now there's loads of little triangles for the bunting. I only did it across the front on mine, but you've got enough to literally go all the way round. Uh -huh. We'll do it on the side on this one. So what you want to do first is do yourself a nice little row of stitching. I'm going to mark it on where I want to go. Where did I do of what, that? Where about you, have you done? Now I'm going to mark it on now. Right, sorry. So mark it on where you want to go. I'll make a, like a rainbow, uh, sort of loopy. Scholar. Bunt it. That's it. That's the word. That's the word. Loopy. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's me, loopy. Is it, Hannah? <laughs> okay. Oh, she's in London. So trip may well be on the car. Well, do you says. know what? It's an hour on the train from St Pancras to Market Harbour. Oh, yes. That's but I have to warn you, if you go in winter, the, unless they've changed it, the waiting room at Market Harbour. Oh, no, it got all up, done up and oh, it's all fancy now. now. I, sat it's all it, fancy. I sat in a glass cube for hours waiting for a train <laughs> in Market Harbour to go back to London. Oh, it's all changed. Ignore me. Mind you, that was many years ago. Yeah, no, it's quite posh these days. Okay. So you could free motion this if you wanted to. I'm uh -huh. just going to go along a couple of times so you can see it. Right. So you just you're just top stitching in the shape of the Abs rope of your absolutely bunting. yes. On my sample, I used I've got like a triple stitch on my machine yeah. at home, so I used a slightly thicker one. Okay. Let's just give that a press. And you'll, it will lose the friction and you can see it. There we go. And then with your little triangles, which are so pretty, they're just like little rainbows, aren't they? Mm. So you can just cut out however many you'd like. Have they got bond web on the back? They haven't. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. Uh, because if you look on mine, they're only attached to the top. Oh, they were, yeah. They so they've got a little bunting. bit of... A little bit of three-dimensionalness oh, to them, yes. which I thought was quite a nice uh -huh. way of doing it. Um, I'm not sure which way it tells you in the instructions. We might not <laughs> No, do. it does say just to catch the top. Oh, OK. Yeah, I did read them properly. <laughs> so whoever made the florist and the sweet shop, the habit, first you made the haberdashery did it correctly, but pet shop, sweet shop and florist took it into their own hands to bond web them down. Well, I think you could do it either way, I couldn't you? I like your, no, I like yours because like you say, it gives it, a, it's not, doesn't just look like it's, because yeah. it could easily have just been printed on the bricks, couldn't it? Your way, it's going to move and things, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So when you, just, I'm going to. Give the cat something to play with. I really like this bakery one. I've seen them all together. I think the bakery is my favourite, ah. actually. Yeah, it's lovely. It's bright, it seems brighter. It's, the others, it is it? really nice and bright. Yeah. And the fact that we all like cakes doesn't, you know, <laughs> go amiss. I kind of need to finish the rainbow. I can't, can't do half a rainbow. Oh, no. You've got to do the whole, whole one, I think, haven't we? Okay, so cut out your little triangles. You see, I've just popped them in place and yeah. I'm literally going to follow my line again just catching in the top of them. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm even going to be brave and not pin them or anything. Mm. Although if you've got those little applique pins, you could, couldn't you? Yeah, that's the I didn't have any of those at home. Oh, just 
pull that one back in. There we go. I think I'd, um, down the back of the shop, I'd have a, a bunting that's fallen down. So it's going <laughs> downwards, sort of thing, where they haven't been able to pin it back up again. That'd be quite nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm having a story. The story at the bakery. Round the back of the bakery. Could you use bosal on these, says Margaret? Well, it might be a bit thick. I, I think, think it'd be very thick. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I, I think, think it, I think you'd start to wrestle it when you're putting it together. Yeah. I think if you wanted to stiffen it, I'd use a firm interfacing. Okay, on all the just on all the pieces. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you really need to, but if you wanted to, mm. yeah, because this hasn't got anything in it, has it? No, no. Um, I think I think a firm interfacing rather. I think bows will just be a bit too thick. Okay, so you've got yourself beautifully decorated. Uh huh. Um, and constricting it. We're going to use our inset seams again. Oh, really? Well, yes, putting your base in is like, <laughs> it's like doing inset seams. Yeah. Have I got my base? There's my base. Um, so obviously we're going to put our sides together. Right. And you're going to go all the way down to the bottom, but not right to the bottom. You're going to stop. I'm just going to see if it gives me a measurement. They are, they're quarter inch seams mm -hmm. putting it together. So we're going to stop a quarter of an inch before the bottom of it. Teresa said our friend James lives in Market Harbour. Oh yes, Teresa. Might have to see him about, hang on, might have seen him about riding his horse. Oh. Or driving his horse, she says. You mean in a carriage? Does he drive a carriage? Anyways, James, he lives in Market Harbour and he's got a horse. Okay. Have you seen him? No, I don't think so. <laughs> if you don't live in Market Harbour, do I you? don't actually, I no. live just outside, yeah. yeah. And, and when I'm in Market Harbour, I'm just tucked away in my little craft centre. Yeah. Or driving very fast. Or driving very horses. fast somewhere else, yes. <laughs> uh, Anne says these doorstops are great to do. Could do with the toy shop, please. Thank you. Oh, that's a good idea. Anna, put that on your list. Well, you can pretty much sort of do every room in the house, can't you? With the right thing. So I'd have my bakery in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And I'd oh, this have, is going to be interesting now. So, so I'd on. have my haberdashery, obviously, in my room where I do my sewing. sewing. The pet shop, well, probably out in the utility. Okay. Where yeah. the dog stuff is. Well, you, see, you could have the sweet shop in your kitchen. Yeah. Or, or, no, your, di lounge. or your dining, dining room. room yeah. yeah. And the florist, yeah, maybe your Hall. lounge. Hall. 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 There you go. There you go. So we need, need a toy shop for the children's bedroom. Yeah. Toy shop for the children's bedroom. Do you think what my doorstops would be? And then like a ladies' dress shop oh, for, your, yes. for your bedroom. Yeah. Or my bedroom. Yeah. You can have a men's table. I've got a Scotty dog doorstop on my, at my bedroom door. Because when I had Norman and Nelly, I had to have doorstops on every door. Because if the, if the wind took them during the day and shut them in the bedrooms or something, so I saw a doorstop on every door. And also I think the house leans to one side. <laughs> That's another story. So you're sewing it together in a row, all four yes. walls in a row? Yes, I'm going to sew it into a little tube, actually. Oh, OK. I've just seen on the pet shop, you get one of those, that the cat, Scratcher climber things with cats all over it. Oh. I don't think they use that on theirs. There's so there's so many nice designs. I mean, yeah. I really like the cherry blossom tree on there. Yeah, but it but you was didn't all, use I it. didn't use that one, but it'd be actually really nice on the side, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh, we go. I've made a few of these. Says Sue, and inter the interfacing and the stuffing give it shape. I added a bag of sand at the bottom of mine to give it extra weight as a doorstop and add a little lavender to the plastic pellets. Ooh, nice, nice idea. Nice. Okay, so then we can put the base in and because we've left these, we haven't gone right down to the bottom, we've uh -huh. left this quarter inch here, then we're going to be able to stitch and turn at oh, our yes. corners. Now, the instructions tell you to leave one side of your base open. Mm -hmm. But what I did, because I decided you needed your base to be really strong. 
because of what if you yeah, pick it up. Yeah, yeah. So I actually sewed my base in fully and just and just left a gap at the roof to put to in the pellets it. and to stuff Good it. Idea. I mean, it, it, on the instructions, it tells you to do both on the base and the roof, but I just felt it was going to be stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to have your weight in all the bottom, aren't you? Yeah, right? and I just thought, you know, if you're hand stitching that last bit, yeah, yeah my hand stitching's okay, but I would want that bit to be really strong. Yeah. So, same again, and you're going to go around. When you lift mine up, John, does it feel a good weight? Uh, I'd have to have it a bit heavier you than that. I only used doors. half my pellets, but I think you probably would want yeah, to make Yeah, because my, my kitchen door, especially, I think my kitchen is on the slant, and it, this, this, it wouldn't hold, this wouldn't hold my kitchen well, door. Well, I saved some just because I knew I might need some for the yeah. demo, but yes, I think you do, you do need a bit more. Yeah. So do all four sides separately, but you want to make sure that they meet up at these corners uh -huh. where you've... Um, in setting them. Um, Julia said, I must upgrade fours. my doorstop, which is currently a tin of paint. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's even worse, right? That's to stop the butt of the cat from getting trapped in the bedroom. So she's got a tin of paint in her bedroom door. <laughs> Time to get the doorstops. Yeah, do, do one of these. Oh no, unless we do the, um... in fact, I've just had a very good idea. Mm. Yes. And I'm telling you, I'm not telling you because it's a secret. It's a secret for March, when the show's in March. Mm -hmm. Just do the last side uh -huh. and then I can... It comes together quite you. quickly then. It comes together really nice and quickly. So you have all the fun bit of doing your decoration that you can spend as much time on as you like. Yeah. And then the actual coming together is nice and... Yeah, because nice I suppose quick. you could do, because you've got it on the flat. If you did the cherry tree, you could do little French knots and you things could. like that, couldn't you, on, on embellish Absolutely. it yourself? Absolutely. Really. You could do a lot of embellishment on it. Um, as, yeah, as much, as much as you want to. Yeah. So then when you turn it round, because you've done those sides and inset it, then you've got nice square corners. Like that. Fabulous. Okay. And I've done the same at the top, left, so I haven't gone right to the top, uh -huh. because then that will also work then for your roof. roof. So you've got a roof inner mm -hmm. that gets joined together, goes across the top like so. Right. And at this stage, you have to put your handle in. Right. So the handle pressed in half and pressed in like that. Mm -hmm. I did top stitch the edges on my sample. Yeah. And then when you put this together, it's going to go in like that. So it gets sandwiched in nice and strongly. Okay, what were you making on the day you made this? Because you had blue in your bobbin and red on your top <laughs> stitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's what, what I had, because I'd put red in it for the bunting. Oh, okay. I'll let you off. I quite often have a different bobbin to the... Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought it was jazzy. Yes. Oh, no, it looks very nice. <laughs> Half the bundle of the panel and the instructions has gone. Just so you know. The main graphic at the moment. The picture on the web is just... Okay, yeah. so there are your handles. Oh, there. okay, oh, that was easy. That was easy. Oh, it, just, so it goes, just, in, the, it goes, in, it goes in, in the bottom. In the middle at this yeah. point, yeah. In, in the, yeah, the roof inner. Then that gets put in. I don't know how much of this you want me to show if you... No, you can show a bit, can show a bit of it and then we'll go to the cushion. Okay, um, because the, then the brown roof gets made separately right. and is put on over the top. Right, Look, I'll show you that there. And oh, and it's, got, and it's made with a gap in the top, so your it's handle comes Made with comes a little through. gap, so your handle comes okay, through. So now, you, what have you got in there? Have you got um, some of this in the roof then? In, in, that, in that? That one, yes, it's just um, a small piece of... Wadding craft inside. wadding inside. It so just you suggests might have that. some wadding at home, or, or, or you want to get some craft wadding. This is the premium polyester craft wadding here, soft and washable. 
And when you do these the, the, these pieces, you're going to put your roof pieces right sides together uh -huh. with the wadding underneath it. Stitch round three sides and then it will turn through. I'll do one. Okay, here. yeah, do one then we yeah. can see that and then you'll have to do the rest. Is there anything else we need to look... Oh, no, did you make a pouch for your pellets or are they loose in the bottom? They're in a bag. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think... I, I wouldn't put them in, in loose. I would either make a material pouch or yeah. a, a plastic. Yeah. Plastic bag. Anyway. We had a long conversation about this, didn't we? Because people wanted things that didn't scrunch if they didn't make yeah. a cotton one. And we came back with that doggy bags that you take out walking with you when your dog they, they're the best things for it apparently okay so when you've done that you want to just clip your corners off just so that you can turn it around and get nice uh -huh. nice corners trim your wadding down So then you can turn that through. It's a little bit padded. Uh -huh. Won't be the end of the world if you didn't pad it. If no, you no, got no. Any uh, Actually, and then you I'd, can I'd be tempted to, to quilt along some of the brick lines as that well. That would be nice. Just to give it that Absolutely. extra that texture. And then you can just top stitch all the way around it to close up that gap. Mm -hmm. I always say, Han. Oh, tip from Terry and Luna. Squirrels! Good morning, everyone. I've made a few doorsteps and always put a cardboard base in the bottom to make it more sturdy. That's oh, a good that's idea. Good idea. You you've got to be careful where you're putting your doorstop. Because I had a lady in, she was buying stuff before Christmas to make a doorstop for her sister, but it was in a place that got damp. I was going to say, maybe you need and some you... of that. What's that plastic stuff you put in the base of bags? Yeah. That might be quite like good. Like the might... Pellon type stuff. The what? Pellon, is it is that called? What it's called? Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Well, um, <laughs> but it's a plastic, it's like, a, we yeah. used to sell it at, at, sewing, at Sewing Quarter. Or there's one Lisa Lamb does, which is like a mesh, like a like a wide mesh. Like, it looks like you do cross stitch on it, but you can't. But it's it's just a, the solid base, but it's plastic, yeah. so if it gets so wet. So if you're putting it anywhere where it gets really cold and possibly a little bit damp, like a tiled floor, <gasps> you know how you might get condensation? Yeah. You just maybe want to make sure it's not cardboard or, because she was going to put wheat in her doorstop. Oh, no, grow. Well, that's what she said. <laughs> so she was going to put it in plastic oh, so it didn't get damp yeah. and, it, and it wouldn't grow. Or you could odicoat it. Once you've done it, you could give it an odicoat layer, could, couldn't you? Yeah. That would just take away that fear of yes. getting damp. So, so you make two of those. So you make two of those. Yeah, and don't, you don't mean to make the other one. Then you literally... No, they literally join in the centre, leaving a gap mm -hmm. to poke the handle through. Perfect. And then I've just hand-stitched it on at the corners. Okay, brilliant. Lovely. All right, then. So that's your bakery there. Now, uh, while you get ready to do the cushion, I'm going to recap this bundle. Instructions and panel, fourteen ninety nine. Now, the reason this is... I don't understand what's happened today, right? Because if you buy the instructions on their own, they're nine ninety nine. If you buy the panel on its own, it's eleven ninety nine. So that's, what, £22? So if you buy them together, you get them for £14.99. I've no idea how that's happened. But there you go. If you use doggy poop bags, make sure they're not biodegradable, says Jan. Good idea, Jan. £14.99 for this and for this. Which will make you, along with some pellets and some stuffing, that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I would buy, I would just be, I'm just going to be straight for, buy this, because you get this and this for 14 99 where it really together, individually, they come to almost £22, don't they? You can buy the panel on its own if you've already got the instructions. £11.99. That's, so you, the, all the instructions, because look at the instructions, it's got the haberdashery and the florist on, they're all the same. All the instructions are exactly the same, right? So um, that's why you've got a picture of those on. And then it's up to you where you put all your applique and everything. But so the instructions, if you've already got any of the other door stops, you can use those instructions. So that's why you just buy the panel on its own. 11 99 okay. What else would you like to do, Han? No? The bundle of four, of the bundle of four. One, two, three, four. So if you've missed out, there's the sweet shop, the florist, the pet shop and the haberdashery shop. That will make you one of each. 
of them there. No instructions in there. No, but you might have just bought the bakery and you've got the instructions or you might have the instructions from before. This bundle is almost sold out. Almost sold out. Here are all the shops. Oh yes, look, there's a florist. He's got a frog going into the florist there. It's not real, Hannah, it's a pincushion. Yeah, 3797, you're saving 11.99 if you buy all four of these, it's about to sell out. If you cook the wheat on a tray in the oven, stops it germinating and it won't grow. And maybe use PU for the bottom. Oh, you're full of good ideas today. Brilliant idea. Right, yeah, that's the bundle that's about to sell out. Right, instruction on their own. Only buy these if you've got the panel to make. There's no, I don't want there to be, remember we did the Delphine cow and there was all the issue about there's no pattern. There is no pattern in here. These are just the instructions of how to make the panel. So uh, you can buy the instructions on your own if you've got a panel, but do not buy them if you haven't got the panel. Well, you can, it's, it's up to you, but there's, there'll be no good to you. See, it says you will need door stop shop pattern fabric back pattern. Door stop shop fabric panel. That's what you need, you see. Okay, right, now we're moving on to a Helen Newton cushion, which is the cake shop. Here it is. Oh, Jesse's got a picture of it. Right, yo, so this is a, a, a masterclass in applique. No, no pressure. So you <laughs> get the instructions. You get half a metre of the cream, I'm presuming, yeah, half a metre of cream. Then you get the panel, which has got loads of choices on to make the cakes. These are your borders. Now, obviously, your borders are more this russet colour. That one was done with a hot tomato, that one. This, or it could be paprika, who knows. Um, so these are your borders, and then these are what you make all your cakes out of, and this is what you make your cushion out of. at 19.99. So all three of those for 19.99. You will need bond web. Roll. Five meters. I've got a smaller packet. So that's the roll of five meters. You can do a lot. If applique is gonna be your new year, new skill, new hobby, new Thingy. Maybe you do a lot of it already, like Del Delphinium, I was going to say that. Delphine, $23.99. Then, if you don't want that much, just want to do a little project, a projet. This one here, if you're just going to do this last, or just do this uh, cushion. This is a long strip. It's 1.2 metres long by 17 and a half centimetres wide. $2.99. Maybe you've never done a plique before. Get this to try it out, see if you like it. And then once you know you're going to like it and do lots of it, buy the roll. Okay, let's just, there's not going to be a full on um, demonstration of how to make the cushion. It's just the idea of how we're going to do the applique, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you've got all your shapes for all these lovely, lovely cakes on your pattern. Mm -hmm. And very sensibly, they've all got a little key, so you know which ones are which. Because there are a lot of little bits. Right. When I started to trace them off, I sort of did one at a time and looked, pinned them together as I went. So I was keeping oh, okay. the right bits together. Yeah, yeah. So, so you mean you get a cupcake and a bit of cream and a flower might yes. be one and things yes. like that. Yes. So yeah. if we, so for, for example, if we do this one. Right. Um, you're going to use your bonder web to trace the shape. Uh-huh. Don't use a friction pen. No. You line it off. Yeah. But a pencil or a a pen. And you need to do each bit separately because each bit's going to be a different colour. Okay. Paper scissors. Now you can roughly cut out, cut these out. You don't have to at this stage cut it out really, really neatly. Okay. You'll lose the will to live. 
Because it means you've got to cut it out really, really neatly twice. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and also, I think if you cut the bond web out really neatly the first time, you want the bond web to go to the edge of it. If you've already cut it, sometimes the iron doesn't take the glue right to the edge, does it, when you've already cut it into the neat, well, neat shape? That's right. So, um, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to use what I've got left here, which I'm not sure are the right colours, but oh, it doesn't worry. really matter. Yeah. So, we'll do our cupcake with these nice flowers. And again, we're going to give it a nice iron and we'll do some, let's do some pink flowery icing. That looks nice. But it does say on the panel which is which. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. It says cupcake one, shelves, yeah. cupcake two. But again, if you've I got a the only one I think you have to be careful of is you've got a big piece for the large and small cake and a bigger piece for the two others but the rest you can just mix and match couldn't you really absolutely okay so once they're ironed on again it was the rough side of the bond web down onto the wrong side of your fabric you're going to cut them out tip when you're cutting is turn the fabric not your scissors oh. so your scissors are always just in the same place and it's uh -huh. actually the thing that you turn Oh, yeah. It's much easier. I used to do a lot of going into schools. I don't do as much these days. But um, I used to go into schools a lot. And sometimes I just used to do whole classes on how to cut out. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> but the kids loved you. <laughs> oh, it's that miss. Miss, how do we cut out? Is that because they don't have... Fully fledged sewing teachers. No, no, that's well, the wrong word. Well, no, I mean, certainly in primary schools. And, you know, it's not, don't, they may not have done it at home particularly, or people are wary about giving children shop oh, yeah, scissors. Yeah, yeah. And, but I, I know, was just thinking when I went to school. Developing your motor skills, isn't it? Cookery and needlework and, and metalwork and woodwork and all those were part of the curriculum. It seems they are less and less and less these days. That's right. Sadly. Okay, so when you've got your pieces, we'll put this one on just here. Uh -huh. So again, we're going to peel the back off. Uh, she gives you measurements of, of where to put your shelves mm -hmm. so that you can get them in the right place and everything will fit. You see, I've already put my big cake on. Yeah. Um, but the rest is done. You can do it by referring to your picture on the front yeah, to get it where you want. But of course, as long as you, um, you can make it as personal as you want, really. You can either follow Helen's instructions completely, yeah. or you can mix and match it, couldn't you? You can kind of put them Absolutely. where you want, as long as you, um, you kind of have them that they all fit. Also, the other thing that Helen does, when she makes a cushion, she always sews the border on first because some of her appliques, like the flower from the big cake and the cupcake, literally go over onto the border. So when they say, uh, oh, they don't like the donut at the bottom, yeah. They do, and yes. <laughs> Which I haven't no, done. No, 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 because you're doing the appliques. But, no, but to be fair, she does tell you to add the board yeah. first. It's only because she likes some of the... She does on all of hers, like when she's doing the seaside yeah. or anything. So the shells go over onto the board. It just makes it stop looking like a picture with a frame on it sort of thing. Okay. So when you've got your cakes on where you like, yeah. then we're going to stitch them on. Now we're going to do some free motion for these. So this might be a new skill as well, mightn't it? If you've not done it before. Mm -hmm. um, so I've set the sewing machine up to do your free motion. I've put the free motion quilting foot on. Uh -huh. And John kindly showed me how to drop the feed dogs because well, I couldn't find the button. Both of us not find it on that machine, <laughs> could we? Yeah. So um, most machines these days will do, will drop the feed dogs, but if it does, if you've got an older machine, as long as you've got a darning plate, if you can't drop the feed dogs, then you can still do free motion. Uh -huh. um, I've made my stitch very small. You don't always have to. It depends on your machine. But I usually do. Mm -hmm. um, now, Helen, in her instructions, suggests, especially if you've not done it before, she suggests marking on where you want to do your free motion, uh -huh. which I think is, is quite a good idea. Yes, I think so. Yes. So if we do some nice little bits on here. But the nice thing about free motion is quite creative, and it's a bit like drawing. So in a way, it doesn't matter if it's not totally perfect. 
Yeah, it's joy, but you've got the lines already there to kind of follow, yes. haven't you? Yes, so you can see I've done a little bit on the flower in the middle there. I was trying out the, um, the stitch and tear on the back because often when I, when I do free motion, I do it with wadding underneath, uh -huh. but she suggests the, the stitch and uh -huh. tear. So with that, where have I put it? It's there. You, as you can see here, it's literally a square behind what I was doing, mm -hmm. and then you use it to stir. So it will just give you a little bit more stability okay. with it on your. Got it here, stitch sewing. and tear, tear away backing with Roger on the front, Hannah's old boyfriend. Yeah. Two pound forty-nine. There he is. It's a big sheet you get there. Catherine, is that your new top that you made? It looks lovely on you. It is, yes. Claire said that. <laughs> Do you know if Helen Newton's sewing room and potting shed cushions will be available to buy again? I presume so, Kim. I think we're, we're getting a lot of hers back in again. Or you can just, if you message her directly, she'll be able to tell you if she's bringing them back. Okay. So when, you, when you've got your free motion quilting foot on and you go to lower your foot, of course it won't lower because it's a free motion yeah. foot because you can then move it really freely. So that's what I think is often people find difficult because it's not gripping it. You have to set it to push down, don't you? You push, you, you go as though your foot is down, but it just doesn't go down onto your that's fabric. That's right. Yeah. So, and that, it, when you get going, you can move it in any direction you like. Moving. Yeah, and this time you're not turning the fabric like you would be you go no. sideways upwards downwards absolutely any direction there. you like it's quite hard doing it standing up i'm going a bit wobbly yeah <laughs> it's, it's also you've got to get your machine it's exactly like, the right place yes. really so doing it, it standing like up my, you're at the wrong angle my bobbin's not quite right the what what it looks like my bobbin's not quite right hold on once okay one second i'll just re repeat the bot the bundle for you so the bundle is here you get the panel you get the instructions and you get half a metre of cream fabric. All of that for £19.99. That's enough to make the whole cushion cover. The borders are already here in this russety colour. And then all the fabrics that you need are all there on the panel. The cakes and the shelves and the flowers and everything like that. They're all there. £19.99. Got a photo. Hi, John and Catherine. Love and have all of Helen Newton's patterns. Here's my version of the cake shop using bits from my stash. Was my second attempt at free motion applique. Bit wobbly in places, but my friend loved it from Sue in Birmingham. Oh, love your colours, Sue. Really They're good. beautiful. I love the cupcake cover. It's got little hearts on it, confetti on it or something like that. I like that, that cake at the top right looks delicious. That's a really good idea, again, using up your stash. Yeah, because you've got your pattern. Once yeah, you've once you've it, got, you've got your, pattern, your pattern, you can make you? it multiple yeah. times, can't you? Absolutely. Right, we'll see if I'm threaded <gasps> Do you back know what? Up. You can make a blind with it on, right? And then, ha then have, it, have the applique on the outside. So when you pull the blind down, all the people go by, it looks like you're a cake shop. <laughs> There'll be people knocking on the window. You open, you open, you got any donuts? I'm going again. I don't know why. For some reason, it's it, the bobbin thread is breaking at the oh, bottom. Oh no! Oh, well, it doesn't matter because we're out of time anyway. But they get the idea, don't you? So you just follow Absolutely. it round with the stitcher. Yeah. Yes. Or you don't have to. Now, the other thing we also have to say about this is when Helen or Cara demonstrate these, they do. You don't have to. If free motion terrifies you. You don't have to do free motion. You can either follow it round with a straight stitch. You can do it with a zigzag. You can do it with a but. Um, Buttonhole stitch, blanket stitch, blanket stitch. You do any of those, so don't feel, oh, I'm not going to get that because I don't like free motion. It's just one of the options, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, brilliant. When are you back next? I think I'm here on the 21st of January. Oh, my word. 21st of January. I think that's a Friday. Friday the 21st. OK, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, I'll just recap this then. This is the cake shop, 19 99 You get the panel, you get the instructions, and you get half a metre of the cream fabric. Okay, that's nineteen ninety nine. Then we've also got, let me tidy up as we go along, right, there we go. Then we've got the bakery bundle, which is you saw at the beginning. So that one, you get the panel. Brand new today, exclusive to Sewing Street, the bakery to add to your collection. 
14.99. This does not make any sense because this is 9.99 and this is 11.99. You buy them separately. Just saying, just saying, just saying. 14.99. Brand new today. More than half the stock's gone already. Just need to start checking out now. Do you want to do something else, did you say? Oh, the bundle web, yes, I knew there was something else. Right, hang on. When we have stock, this is, uh, you need to get this. When we've got it in stock, you need to get this. This is just five metres of bond web on here. 30 centimetres wide. £23.99. pence. Gorgeous. Right. Do not go anywhere. It's me after the break. I've got sew machines. Was there something else? Needles, sewing machine bags. I'm sure there was something else on the trolley that Jesse undid. I've got the, the phone break too, Matt, Matt, again. I'll see you in four. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking. Quilting. Homewares. And needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family. And share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's uh, she, she's I just love her. her, her head's her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them. 
um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lo lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Now, Ellen, I've just seen your message. I can't answer it now, Ellen, about dress patterns because I've got to do um, sewing machines now. But if you email me, uh, email to the studio... I, no, no, you need to do it before one o'clock, actually. But if you email me the question to studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com, and uh, I'll, um, I'll get Hannah to forward it to me, and I'll answer your question later. It's about, I'll just explain what she is. It's about, a dress, she's bought a dress pattern. She doesn't know which size to make, because she's between sizes. But I need to ask you questions. I won't be able to just tell you like this which one to do. Right, to hope. Uh, sew machine, sew machine, new year. New hobby, new year, new skill, new year. New sewing machine. No, there was a third one. What was the third one I meant to say? No, it's only three. It's new year, new hobby, new year, new skill, new year, new you. No, it's not it, but anyway. Right, behind here, right, behind here, I've got uh, three, I've got four sewing machines to show you. Um, I've got something for an absolute, absolute beginner. Then I've got something, two machines for people who can sew, who want to upgrade a little bit. And then I've got one that Becky Alexander Foster has just bought and she absolutely adores it. So I've got all four machines to show you. So uh, I'm going to start over here with this. This is the Elna 320. Very, very limited now. Very, very limited. So you do, I was just showing that because you do get the hard cover. You do get the hard cover with that one. Right, I'm going to just go through this one quite quickly because it's very, very limited. Yeah, this is what a lot of people might be upgrading from. But if, you, if you've got somebody in the family and you've got a budget of £250, then this is perfect, especially on the split pay. 83, three, three payments of £83. This doesn't have anything digital on it whatsoever. They, it's a lovely machine, don't get me wrong. It's a lo really lovely but very simple beginner's machine, this one. What you've got here is all the stitches are already in the machine. So you can do 18 stitches plus buttonholes on here. And literally what you do is you can thread it up like a normal sewing machine. You then choose, you see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are your normal stitches here. 
And then the bottom stitch is there. Are you stretch stitches? I'm going to sneeze. No. Um, and basically, you just choose which stitch you want by twisting this round. There is that straight stitch, zigzag, multi zigzag, a blind hem. You've all stretched blind hem. You've also got a satin stitch there. Then you've got all, you've got all those different stitches, right? The only way you choose between them. So one, two, nine. You just leave your dial here, wherever it is, right? But if you then want to use ten to eighteen, you turn this round so the pointer goes to stretch stitch. And that then chooses your 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way through to 18. And if you want the buttonhole, you then turn it round to the buttonhole stitch and you can do the buttonhole with it. Um, it's got the top loading bobbin, which is really unusual for this kind of price range. And you can drop the feed dogs on this one. You've got your reverse stitch along there. I mean, it's simple. It's a very simple, basic, lovely machine. If you've got somebody who just wants to start sewing, who wants to be able to, the machine to arrive, it comes straight from Elna. Now Elna are open. So if you buy this today, they will be told at midnight tonight that you've bought it. They will send it straight out to you in the next few days because they're back in the office from today. 240, there's nothing digital about it. It's you choose your stitch and you sew. Oh yeah, and if you haven't got a permanent sewing room, this is so petite. It'll fit nicely, and you know, kind of down the side of the sideboard or something, like, under the sideboard, something like that. Eight, how many? Oh! Now that's unusual, because it's heavier than the bigger ones coming up in a minute. £249. It's just... Oh, no, it's not unmanageable at all. It's like a big fat cat. Uh, this comes off as well. That does come off to give you a free arm. So if you're doing jeans or little bags that you need to go around, you can do that. It's got a, um, look, it's got a needle threader, which machines like this very, very seldom have. And then your foot up, foot down is there. Uh, it's just brilliant for £249. Two-year warranty comes directly from Elna. Sweet little machine, right? And no extra postage, three nights. If you already bought something today. So, so basically, if you're going to take, if you buy this today and you've bought nothing else, you'll pay £249 for £3.95, be with you within the week or so. If you want to take split pay, you pay £83 plus your PMP if you've bought nothing else. But if you've already bought something, you bought the early bird or some needles from me earlier, that's your PMP paid for. Don't add another PMP onto it and it'll be with you in no time. It's a lovely, sweet little beginner's machine. £249 directly from Elna. It comes with all the Elna, all the Elna expertise and all, this, that, all the things that you expect from Elna. Okay. I'm just going to move that out the way then. Now, if you can already sew and you're thinking 2022 is the year I am going to upgrade, but I haven't got thousands. I haven't got thousands to spend. I've got one machine here which is under £500 and I've got one which is just over £600. Um, they're the same, well, I'll show you, right? It's called, they're, they're, I've got the 550 and the 570A V3 here, right? With both of them, you get a hard case, and with both of them, you get the extension table. But I'm just going to move those out of the way now. I've only got the 570 plugged in, but let me tell you about the 550, first of all. That's this one here. 550, this is if you want a sewing machine under five, now, I need to tell you quite categorically, we can only sell what we've got on the shelves at Elna. We don't keep them here, they come directly from Elna. I can only sell you today what is on the shelf. We have a shelf in the Elna warehouse with our 550s, our 560s, our 570 AV3s, our 780s. They're all there in our section. Once they have sold out, we then have to renegotiate with Elna to buy some more. Prices will go up this year. Prices will go up. Now, I don't know how many of these I've got left on the shelf in Elna. Do you know by any chance? Okay, I don't know how many we've got, right? But when they have gone, Paul in buying said the price will go up. It's not Elna's fault. It's not our fault. It's just the way of the world. I'm not, I'm not adding any undue pressure, right? I'm not doing that. I'm not adding any undue pressure. I'm just telling you the facts. I t I've been telling you for months about fabric going up. My shop in Tesco's, that's gone up. It's just, the, I mean, it's what we... 
Oh, there you go. Apparently, Jesse was in a Swedish meatball shop that sells furniture. Their prices have gone up. It's the way, the thing is, it's, it, we've all got to accept that's the way of the world, isn't it? This is still the price we've always had it at, at £499. It's a lovely little machine. It's exactly the same machine as the 570A, but with not quite as many um, attributes to it. So, uh, did you say you found some price um, comparisons? Just one price comparison. Yeah. Here you go. This is how much most people that we can find sell their 550 machine for. Just, I'm just saying, I'm just showing you, I'm not adding any undue pressure, I'm just saying to you. It is a direct comparison. It is exactly the same sewing machine. Right, so 500, I, I can't imagine ours, well, I don't know. I don't know if ours is that's how much ours have got up to. I've got no idea. I'm not, not sure. Right, we can't find one more affordable than this, right? We cannot find one more affordable than this. We've got a very special deal with Elna. Oh, yeah, you can buy one second hand, I suppose, cheaper, couldn't you? But anyway, so you can pay £499 for it, or you can, oh, they haven't taken off the full split pay. That was supposed to be for one day and one day only, and whoever was in charge of that has forgotten to take it off. No, it's good. So, right, what that means is you pay 124.75 today, which is the 4th of, oh, it's my big brother's birthday thing, 4th of January, right? You'll then pay 1 4th of February, 1 4th of March, 1 4th of April, done, paid for, and 124.75 a month. We don't charge you any interest whatsoever. It's just the price split four ways. It comes direct from Elna. Oh, and we, we send it to you when you've paid the first payment. So if it goes through at midnight tonight, which is what, which is, this is how we can only charge one PMP because nothing goes through your credit card, right? Until the end of the day when it's all, congr not, co not coagulated, not congratulated, all come together like that, right? All comes together, uh, consolidated. Is that the right word? Anyway. So, so basically, 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 it will. So when the when it goes through at, mid, at the first payment, if you do take um, split pay, this will be. We'll, we'll then send an email to Elna tonight or tomorrow morning saying, "Oh, you know, Mrs. Miggins has bought one of these. Could you send one to her?" They will then set the wheels in motion for it to be sent out to you. They have been shut for the whole. They had the whole of Christmas off. They had like the twenty second till yesterday off. They had a lovely that time there. Anyway. This machine, let me just tell you, take you through this machine. It does have a locking stitch. It does have a needle up, needle down position. It does have a go faster, go slower. It does have a reverse at the beginning of each seam. You can use it by pressing a button to start and stop it and not using your foot pedal. Um, these, these here, I'll explain all of these on the, on the 578 in a minute, but one is, uh, to, these are to choose your stitches. <coughs> excuse me and this one's your stitch width that one's your stitch length these are shortcuts right straight stitch zigzag stitch over edge stitch and buttonhole stitch this machine has a needle threader it also has a little bar there so when you're doing your buttonholes it also i'm gonna cough sorry <coughs> um it's just a fluff over this side that's all it also comes with 50 stitches built in you have straight stitch, you have zigzag stitch, you have buttonholes, you have eyelet stitch, you have satin stitches, you've got some decorative stitches in there. I know it only says 49, it's because the first number is 00. zero. That's why it looks like there's only 49, but there are 100. You can drop the feed dogs on it, and it's got the same top loader bobbin. It's so easy to use this bobbin uh, for, um, where you put your bobbin in, right? That's exactly the same as the one on my 680. Okay, it's a lovely machine. Now, £419 keeps it under that 500 price bracket. We've got some slide, a slide to show you something. Feet, feet. We have got what's in the box, John Scott. That's the 560. Oh, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same as the 560. Standard foot A, which is your normal sewing foot. Quarter inch foot, which is brilliant. They, these machines never used to have a quarter inch foot. Zipper foot, satin stitch foot, the over edge foot thing, which is its foot, which is like the um, it's like an overlocking. So if you want to finish the edges, you don't want to use a zigzag. You can use an over edge stitch. Um, then the automatic buttonhole foot, and it's got a blind hem stitch foot. Christine said, I know, Christine, I said it's got a needle threader, and if you bought in um, 
the 12 days of Christmas, you get free PMP. Remember that. Remember that. Even with, oh, right. Now, what I need to tell you, very uh, important. Very, very important. This is, when it comes from another, not our warehouse, we call it dropship, right? So you buy it from us. We tell Elna, they send it. It's the same with Juki. It's the same with um, adjuster forms. Never, ever, ever pay for express delivery. Because it, first of all, they're, they're excellent to get them out to you. But secondly, they don't recognise the express delivery. Do you know what I mean? They don't have it. It's only from our warehouse that we can do express delivery. So please, please, please do not, when you're checking out, don't go, oh, I'll get the express delivery. Don't do that. Don't do that on anything that is a drop ship, what we call drop ship. Sorry, I just need to say that. Um, so sorry, back to the slide. What was on the slide? Uh, we've got bobbins for extension table, foot control, hard case, instruction manual, lint brush, needles, power cable, screwdriver, three pronged, seam ripper, spool cap small, spool cap large, and spool pin spare horizontal. So that the minute this arrives at your house, as long as you've got some thread in your house, you can start sewing. You can start, and if you don't like using a pedal. You don't have to use the pedal. You can use the start stop button here. I'll tell you about that more on the 570. 499 pounds to get you this gorgeous little machine. Fantastic, isn't it? Right. A 499 for a computerized sewing machine. I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, now, uh, Hannah's very bitter about this because she bought the, was it the 540 you bought? Yeah, she bought the 540. Yes, she got, now she paid more for it than this and she doesn't get half the things that you get on this one. She's not bitter, she's angry. Anyway, 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 that, that's, the, that's the 550. That's the 550 there. Now, if I hadn't already got my 680, I would buy this machine. I love this machine. Margaret, from West Yorkshire, she bought this machine. She absolutely adores it. So, this is, it, it's, uh, ooh, the dust fairy's been in over Christmas, I think. I think all these need a bit of a dusting down. This, right, now, let me start with the price. Because, 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 before Christmas, we sold out of all of our 570As. Right? We sold out of all of them. We said, won't get it in, won't get in before Christmas, won't get in before Christmas, and then... We had a delivery just before Christmas, right? It is the upgraded version. It's 570 AV3, which I'll tell you more about in a minute. But the price went up and we were like, oh no. We know how much this is gonna go up to. We thought it was gonna go up to 699 pounds. It went up 40 pounds. Now I know that's still 40 pounds that it's gone up. I understand that, but it could have gone up an awful lot more if you think about it. Right, so we're selling it today at 639 pounds Four split payments of 159.75. Look at how much you could pay elsewhere. No, not graphics. <laughs> Here we go. Right, this is the 570A, 699 pounds. That oh, sold out. That's why I we all thought that ours was going to go up to 699 pounds because if you look elsewhere, you will see that it, the Elna 570A is 600. No, oh, it's 699 pounds. Right, now, it's very important to look for the A because you'll also see the Elna 570 also for £699, right? The A means there's an alphabet. The A means there's an alphabet. The 570 without the A does not have an alphabet, right? Our 570A, because we got the new lot in just before Christmas, it's actually called the 570AV3, means the version three of the alphabet. It's so modern, we haven't even been able to ask Elna yet what that means. But it means it's upgraded. It is the most modern, the most um, recent of all the 570As. Oh yeah, 570A, a couple of places have got it, but but a very, very, most shops say sold out or, or what they're doing is they're doing that pre-order, you know, the pay for it now, it'll come later. We, we, we do pre-order for the day, but we have the stock in. We're not allowed to sell you anything that we haven't got in the warehouse in Stockport. I don't know how they can, but 
Well, no, let me just tell you, right? So I go to an old fashioned barber's, right? It used to be you just walk in, you had to sit and wait, right? Then when COVID happened, they were able to reopen. They did an appointment system. I'm all for that because it means I haven't got to sit waiting for hours. Went to book my appointment, which I thought was today, but it's actually th uh, Thursday. Um, you have to pay half price. You have to pay half the money up front. So you, you go on your app and you go, oh, I'd like James at 3.30 on Thursday afternoon. You have to pay... You have to pay half the money up front. So I text him going, what's all this? He doesn't even own it. <laughs> what's all this, Robbie said? He said, my time is very precious, John. I was like, where else do you pay? It? Anyway, I won't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Right, this machine is gorgeous. As I say, if I hadn't already got my 680, I would buy this. So let's start here. You've got your da -da 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 lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down position. You've got your scissor. This is cutting the threads at the end. When you finish sewing, you just press that. Make sure your foot's still down. Your pedal's still, not your pedal, your foot's still down. That will cut the thread. You've got your reverse at the beginning and the end of each seam. A seam. <laughs> Seam, seam. Then this here, this means, right now at the moment, let me just twist that around. Ooh, there you go. You can see up here that you've got the icon of the foot pedal. If you don't want to use the foot pedal, right, if you've got the foot pedal in, you try pressing that button there, nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. Because look, flash, flash, foot pedal, foot pedal, foot pedal. Right? It tells you what the problem is. So then if I unplug the foot pedal, right, that's gone. Have I got any threads in here? Right, I'm just going to twist it around a bit. Right. No foot pedal, but now... Um, look. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. Cut the thread. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that, you see? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it's really... Now, I, I'm sure Ben won't mind me telling you this. We, we've got a... Um, he's a friend, really, Ben, who has um, issues with his of, of dexterity and things like that. And he can only sew on his mum's sewing machine if he presses buttons. He can't use uh, pedals or anything like that. So something like this is invaluable, absolutely invaluable. He made that gorgeous cushion for me, which was like a bookshelf or video shelf. And on the spines of all the books, he's embroidered on, the machi on his machine, like War of the Buttons, Tomb Raider, James Bond, things like that. It's absolutely lovely. So that's where the button comes, that button comes in handy. Right, so that's the front there. Then, oh, while we're over there, we've got our needle threader. We have our post for when we do the button button, um, the button holes, so it doesn't go too far. Then, let's move over to this side of the machine. There we go. So on over here, this one here is to choose your stitch, right? You've got 200 stitches on this machine, not including the alphabet. There's 360, including the alphabet. So 200 set machines here. So you've got this one, uh, stitches on this one. Buttonhole, straight stitch, eyelet stitch, stretch stitches, decorative stitches. I mean, that two. are you going to use 200 stitches? It's fantastic. You've even got this one here, decorative stitches. You've got scissors. You've got threads. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So you've got 200, even an, a, a locking stitch at the end there. So you've got 200 stitches. So if you want to choose... A stitch, right, let's go here. Let's just don't choose a simple one here. If you want stitch number 14, there are three zones, right? We're in zone one here, or mode, mode one here. If you want number stitch number 13, you literally go 10, 1, 2, 3. Then you're in 13. Right, it tells you which foot you need on, which is an F foot. It tells you that you've got your foot pedal in, but you can take that off, obviously, as I've shown you. Then it tells you that the setting of this, of this stitch, number 13, is three wide and one long. That's a very close zigzag, right? But if you test it out, you think, oh, that's not what I want. You can change it. You don't have to go by what the machine tells you you have to go to, you see? Now, it won't let you go. Oh, that will let you do everything, right? Oh, there you go. Won't let you go above a seven on that one. And it won't let you... No, that one's a really good zigzag. That's a very... There you go. So it won't let you go bigger than a four and a half. If you're thinking, oh, I don't know where... I, oh, I want to go back to the beginning. Just press your straight... That, either C to clear it, or that one takes you back to default straight stitch. Oh, now while I'm here... Oh, well, okay, so, so that's your stitches, right? Now, you see you've got mode one, 
mode two and alphabet. The way you change that is you've got a mode button here. So mode one is your first hundred stitches. Mode two is your, the second hundred stitches. <clears throat> then this one here, which I'll show you the, the, the screen of the slide in a minute, that's for alphabet. And that one there is for your Cyrillic alphabet. So we'll get back to that. So, um, that's, so that's your stitch, choosing your stitches, right? Now this is your stitch width and your stitch length. We're on a straight stitch at the moment, and you're thinking, well, why, is it got, why do you need a stitch width? It's because if you, look down, if you look down here, right, when you press this, you know sometimes we see a designer and they go, oh, just move your needle across to the right or to the left a little bit. You just literally press your stitch width. Can you see the needle moving? Can you see it moving across? Hang on, I just Jesse's coming in there. Look, can you see the needle moving? So even though you're on a straight stitch, look at all the different positions you can put the needle in. If you have to move it to the left or to the right, clear it so we'll get back to the beginning. Right, so that's that. Then we're back up here. So uh, we've also got, I've shown you that one, that's a, a, a shortcut to your straight stitch. That's a shortcut to your zigzag stitch. That's a shortcut to your overedge stitch. That's a shortcut to your buttonholes. But don't forget, how many buttonholes are on here? No, they weren't in that one, they're in that one. Look at all the buttonholes you can choose from in this machine. The options are endless, you see. So that's that. What that button? Then, then, um, then you've got a memory cutter. You can set in the memory if you want it to cut at the end of each seam. When you're doing letters, you need your memory button. The C literally is just to clear it. You take you back to the beginning, and then mode, as I showed you, with the, the to choose on the different stitches, right? So let me show you the. Uh, have you got the alphabet slide there? The alphabet slide. So if you go to A one. There you go. So look, in mode A, that's the first one there, you can do capital letters, you can do little letters, you can do all those symbols like question marks, brackets, percentage, you even got the at sign, look. It's very important, at, isn't it? And then 87, 88 and 89 are spaces. So if you're doing a word and then you need a space between the words, you want a small space, you put 87. What, and what you do, so let's, let's say we were just, uh, you wanted to type out Hannah, right? You would do 17 memory. You would do 10 memory, 23 memory, 23 memory, and 10 memory. That's if you want to do it all in a, in, um, a, a capitals, right? Then you could do space, big space, 89. And then you could put, I don't know, a, a heart afterwards. You put 86 in. So you'd have Hannah, space, heart, 86, memory. Press go and you're off. It'll type that up for it. I'll stitch that up for you. Right? So they're all your letters. Then if you go to the fourth one, the fourth one down, you get the, the ones underneath the Cyrillic there with all the different um, accents and umlauts and everything like that. Upside down, question mark. Everything you need, it's all there. Uh, for, if you need to cafe, yeah, you do. Okay, so where, uh, a cafe in capital letters. Oh, no, and in little... 53, where's 53? Oh yeah, cafe in little letters there. It's the only word you can remember. Or you could do Zoe with an umlaut. There you go. Anyway, anyway, so that, that they're all there as well. So all, you get all of that, all of that is included. The 200 stitches, all of the, the D. Now, it's a category B machine. You do not get a walking foot with it, but you can buy a walking foot for it. Um, and Margaret, when she bought her machine, she rang Elna and she said, I've just bought a 570, I need a walking foot. Um, and it was there within, she bought it and it was there within two days. We don't sell them, we haven't got them, so that's why you'd have to ring Elna for that. So, have we got slides of what you get with this machine? Here we go. Nice picture here, so you get standard foot A, satin stitch foot F, over edge foot C, zipper foot E, blind hem foot, Quarter inch foot, automatic but a buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate, bobbin, seam ripper, spool holder, spool pin, lint brush, needle set, screwdriver, foot controller, video. I didn't know you got a video with it. Hard cover. Our extension table. Extension table. So all of that is what comes with it. Remember, you can drop the feed dogs if you want to do free motion embroidery. It doesn't come with a free motion foot, so you could get that. But you have to remember it's a category B. Oh, Kate says, 
I love my 578. I made personalised stockings for my friend's grandchildren and they loved them. I think this machine is worth every penny. Now, Kate bought it from us. She bought it from us before Christmas and she absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves it. Um, I was going to say, oh, there's another slide, another slide, another slide. I'd like to know number of stitches. Oh, whichever, whichever, I can go whichever. Right, okay, so there's 300, oh, I said 360, 380, include, so you get 200 stitches and 180 alphabets. You get your buttonhole, uh, 12 of them. Stitch combinations, 50. Maximum stitch width is seven. Maximum stitch length is five. And you get 15 variable needle positions. Is there one more? Did I, did I see another slide? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Back to me. And then back to slides. Here are key features, key features. Sag space of 170 millimetres, free arm, which is what, oh, I haven't shown you that. Um, LCD screen, horizontal, that's so, the horizontal full road truck is the, is the bobbin that you fill from the top, built-in needle threader, feed dogs, which you can take down, LED lights, manual thread con tension control, easy and guided bobbin threader with a built-in thread cutter, pressure foot adjustment, extra high, oh, I'll show you that as well, extension table, stitch reference charge, start, stop, reverse, auto lock, up, down needle, automatic thread cutter, thread cut memory key, and memory key. Right, now, I have... 10 left. That's it now. Before Christmas, oh, I can tell you, we had 40 of these delivered before Christmas. I've got 10 left now. That's it. That's it. That's it. The other thing I didn't show you here was uh, when you put your foot down there, uh, you lift it up to your normal. If you've got extra thick fabric doing bag making, you can lift it a little bit higher. The bobbin, to put the bobbin in, it's very, very simple. You slide that top bit off there and your bobbin comes out of there. And, oh, and then the bobby and the gubbins box comes off. There you go. So you've got a free arm. You do have a free arm. No, I was just covering that noise up, you see. And then the, the, the switch here, the switch there is for you dropping, to drop your feed dogs there and there. And, oh, and you get the extension table, obviously, to make it larger. So for £639, I think it's a brilliant little buy, that isn't it? Mm, I love this machine. This is, if I, like I say, if I hadn't got my 680 already, I'd definitely have one of these. And Kate's already told you, she loves hers. If you go to the website, you'll see loads of fee-foos for this. I'm not going to show them all now, but loads of fee-foos for this one. Isn't it brilliant? Can I oh, now while I'm over here, before I go and do the big machine, I've got a couple of things, other things, because th these don't fit the big machines. I'll, st I'll stay over here for the time being. Yeah. Slip reduction mat. Now, I, my 680 fits on this as well, so you can just fit a bigger machine on than this. <clears throat> if you work on, well, no, even if you work any table you work on, you don't like the machine marking the table. Not that these will, but there's always the chance, isn't there? This will stop your table from getting marking. It also takes the pressure, because, you know, they're, they're about six, was it six and a half pounds? They, um, six and a half kilos, sorry, six and a half kilos, the um, machine. Right, the weight, right, will leave dents in your table. But look, in the mat here, you can, it's going to take the pressure of your sewing machine without damaging the table. Also, if you have to sew late at night and the kids are asleep or something like that, and you just want something to stop vibrations and just to keep the noise down, then this is perfect. It's also got camphored edges, so you don't have to have a ridge where your hand is when you're working on it and everything. $15.99, a really, really, really good buy this, just for sitting your machine on. You see what I mean? It's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't slide anywhere. Big enough for my 680, this, this mat is. And it just, it's just, a, 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 if you've got a machine, you just don't want, if you work on your dining room table and you don't want to mark your dining room table, uh, but then at any table, you don't want to mark your table that you in your workroom either. It's just fantastic. And it does make it like a smoother ride, as it were, because it's kind of going to absorb, any, not that there's much movement in any of these machines, but if there was, then um, it just absorbs any movement like that. So it's 15 99 We do have a smaller one as well for overlockers, but I've not seen that one for ages. Oh, it's not available. Not available. This one's 60 by 40 centimetres, and it's 15 99 Only comes in the red. But then if you're getting an Elna, they've all got red accessoires, haven't they? You know, the accessoires. 
15.99. Right, on the website, we've got needles separately. They're all flying out. I'm just doing a bundle today. That if you want them individually, they're on the website. Go and have a look. They're on pre-order at the moment. So this is a bundle of 10. Yeah, on the picture, it only shows you four packets for some reason. But you get all 10 of these oh, in your bundle. So what do you get here? You get universal. That's for your everyday stitching. Your ballpoint for when you're doing jerseys. Twin universal. Then you've got your stretch ones. Then you've got your top stitch ones. They've got a bigger eye for you to put top stitch uh, thread in. Got your jeans, embroidery, sharps, leather, and what's that? Oh, quilting, quilting. Isn't it funny that one's in a different packet to all this? It's the same make, but a different packet. There are your quilting needles. You get all of those. Oh, and you're saving three pounds as well. 10 packs, makes each pack work. £2.44 a pack. Makes each of those £2.44. But you are getting, what else are you going to need? To be honest. Right, an awful lot of these, not the bundle of 10, but like we had all of these available on their own. Please go and check out the pre-order because some of them are left. Not all of them have sold out yet, but a lot of them have sold out. We can talk about Twin Needle. The twin needle, we haven't, we haven't done a demo on twin needle. It's where you want to sew two lines of stitches at the same time. So like, uh, okay, we'll just do twin then, there you go. Now this is a three millimeter. You need to know the width of the twin needle because they go three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, different sizes. Basically what it is, you, you, you have one bobbin, but you have two top threads, which is why you need the extra spool holders with the machines. So you have two threads coming from the top, which go through the two needles. And what it does is when it stitches, it stitches like this, but it only catches up. So underneath the bobbin thread goes zigzag, zigzag, zigzag between the two of them. It's like if you want to do the hem on a leotard and you haven't got a cover stitch machine or you want to do on a skirt or anything, you want to do two lines of stitches exactly, exactly the same width apart from each other. Uh, all the way around. I tell you what we used to use them a lot for. It's like when we did um, sort of a plique and we put them binding round. You know, we did the, the stained glass windows and things like that. And then we put black pine binding or the Celtic one. And we did two lines of stitch. You want it to be exact. The only thing you can't do with a, a twin needle is you can't pivot. You cannot pivot with a twin needle. You, well, it will break. It will just snap. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Julie said, just received my order, which included your badge and calendar with unexpected stock stick it notes. Oh, did you not listen to me on Christmas Day? Who's that? Julie. I went on and on and on about the post-it notes in there. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, that's good because that means Christmas Day, the Christmas days are arriving now. Uh, Christine said, it's also great with the extension table. This is the 570. Uh, I, oh, no. Oh, no. No, sorry. She's talking about the mat. She said, it's also brilliant when you put your extension table out because it reduces noise from my sewing room, which is in the loft. And Gary hates it when I'm sewing up there uh, in the loft when he's trying to sleep downstairs. Right. My Morris fabric has arrived. Oh, there you go. So Christmas has arrived. Uh, my Morris fabric has arrived even more lovely in real life, particularly the seaweed design. My machine will have to come back out. She's got the 570, yeah? She's got the 570. Um, anyway, uh, so that was Twin Needles. It's behind you. Um, Kat went to see a panto last night with AJ and Curtis in, in Wolverhampton. Now, is this definitely the right size, this one? Because last time, we, is this the one from the room the other, next door? Yeah. Um, where's the box? Just measure it, just measure it. Because last time I showed the wrong size bag. That was all. No, no, the, bo the box of what we're selling today. Because we do do two sizes of this, you see. And last time I got into trouble because I, we had the graphics in for one and I was showing you the other one. Anyway, they're beautiful bags, these. Thank you, Hannah. Hang on. <laughs> Just slide it on there. Thank you. That's not sliding. 
This is the box. It'll come in. You see now. Deluxe sewing machine bag with collapsible trolley. Of this one I've got. Here you go. I've got the measurements. got the measurements. 51. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. After all that, this is the one. Sorry. I just didn't want you to have. Oh, no, it isn't. 35. 42. No, this is the right one. This is the right one. This is the right one. Yes. There's two, there's two of them, you see. There's two of them. So this is how yours will come in the box like this. Right? No, 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 no. You didn't want to know. Um, it's really good. So this is collapsible. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me, let me show you the bag first of all. So inside, look, your sewing machine is going to be completely safe, isn't it? Wrapped in that very, very thick foam uh, se section there. It's also got one in the bottom that's got a hard bottom as well. So it's nice and secure. Now, these will all fit beautifully in there. I think my 680 would sit fit in there as well. But then what's also very interesting about it is you've got the zips on there, you've got pockets, you've got handle on the side. You can use it as a bag. If you take it off here, you can use it as oh, and right underneath here. This is um, such a good... Um, it's, no, but it's a good, uh, let me just press it there. Right, I'm going to take it off so you can see. When you put your bag on, how often does your bag slide off, right? This bag has like, a, look, it's got a, a sleeve at the bottom there, which slides over this, and then you lock that down, so the bag, so nobody's going to be able to nick your bag, because it's attached without taking all of this, I think, it's attached there. And the way you release it, you just press that button underneath there, and that releases that flap, you see. So you've, you've, you've got security at the bottom there. Then this folds down oh, there's that, like this. And then it goes down again like... Sorry, I'm not practised this. Keep, there you go. Look how that folds away. When you get home, if you're not using the trolley, look how neatly that all folds away. Look at the sturdy wheels on the bottom as well. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. The measurements are, I can't tell you, I don't know the size of everyone's machines are very, but look, it's 51 centimetres across here. It's 35 centimetres deep. It's 42 centimetres high. And then obviously that's the handle there. It goes to over, just over a metre. So your main body is 51 centimetres across. 35 centimetres deep and 42 centimetres high. I hope that helps. I can't tell you what your specific, all your specific machines will do. You know what I mean? I haven't got the, the makes of the machines. Let's just do this. I'll show you. Oh, there's only, two, there's only two left already. Very, very popular. Oh, my word. Look at the room. Let me just unplug that. Right, look. So now, if you know the size of the 580... Look how much room. Where's it gone? Where's the cushion gone? Where's it go? The, I've put the base one in. Oh, there it is. One left. Obviously, you put that in before you put your sewing machine in. Let's just do this properly then. Not going to be a tight fit, is it? But look, that goes in there like that. Oh, look, 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 loads of, loads of room. Okay. There, oh, look, how much room is in there? That's the 570 in there. You know what I mean? You have to take it on the trolley, so you've got the lovely straps there as well with the, with the handle on there. Um, there's a pocket at the front there for your pedals. And your wires and things like that. Even though you could be... Oh, no, look, actually. With this, you'd have room in, inside here to put anything down there. You put your manual along there. Oh, you could even put... Look, there's even room in this way. If you've got the 570, 550, 560, there's even room for your extension table in there as well. Or, uh, do you know what? This would be brilliant. If you don't have a sewing room... Wouldn't this be brilliant just to store it in as well? So you've got, I mean, you could use the bag as a holiday bag as well when you went to own your holidays. But I'm just thinking now, if you store it, 
Oh, no, that way At home, look, it's all going to store away beautifully. Oh, it's about to go. The last one's about to go. I'm going to need it all packed up for the last one. Look, loads of room. So you could keep it in there, in your under the stairs cupboard. I keep going on about the under the stairs cupboards these days, today, don't I? And then if you're storing it away, look, then that stores right next to it like that. How brilliant. 54.99. One left. But there's loads in baskets. Now, if you like a different sewing machine bag. Now, at the end of the show, nobody try and pick this up. There's a sewing machine in it. Yeah, we won't tell Elliot. He's got a bad back. Right. Um, ooh. <laughs> Teal first. Hobby gift. Now, this is a different bag. Oh, I'll get the other. I'll get. I'll get the other one. Show you the size. <laughs> right, so it's got the handle with the extra strap on it. It opens right the way up, this one. Right the way down, so it's easy to get your sewing machine in. It's got a hard base there, so you're not, no worries about your machine being on a soft bottom. There you go. Nice fitting on that one. That's your 550. Again, there's room for the table, there's room for your manuals, there's room for your pocket at the front there for you to put your anything in, like your pedal and things like that. How much is this? 19 99 Now, I've seen this elsewhere for, for way much more money than this. 19 99 Teal. Teal. I'd say it was more peacock than teal, personally. Okay. Yeah, then I've got it in red. It's exactly the same. Just see, it's exactly the same, just different colour. Well, I have no idea. I'm presuming our buying team bought them at different times. Thirteen ninety nine. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Obviously, it's not because it's red. Exactly the same, but different. They were good, weren't they, though? Same but different. No. Is that what they were called? No. It was the brother and sister singing act. Anyway, I haven't got an another... I've got the smaller machine, this one, but look. It's exactly the same. There you go. There's the red one. Thirteen ninety nine. Our class is about to start again. Oh my goodness! The one with wheels would be great to take my machine to workshops. Oh, she's hinting to her husband. Margaret's got two of these bags: one for a machine, one for a stash. Will the six eighty fit in the trolley bag? Yes, Sue. I imagine it would do. I haven't got the six eighty here, but I've got a six eighty, and I'd say yes, it would fit in there. Oh, it's sold out now. Sorry, Sue. We'll get more in. We will get more in. Fantastic. A 13.99. Same machine needle bundle. Oh, there's only one left. I've still got the 780 to talk about very quickly. Right. I'm going to go over here now just for five minutes. I think that was it, wasn't it? Yep. Righty-ho. Now, this machine is the one that Becky Alexander Frost has bought... She hasn't been given it by Elna. She's bought it through choice. She bought the 720, which is the one that uh, Delphine has just bought. Loves that, loves that, loves that. But one of her children knocked off a table and broke it. It's being fixed, everything, but she wanted to... She loves this one. At £2,499, it's the Elna uh, 780 machine. This has got so much going on. Come on, John. There you go. Uh, this has got so much going on now. I'm not going to switch on. It's £2,499. Five split payments of £499.80. Two-year warranty comes direct from Elna. We have got some in stock. I don't think there's many left in stock of these. Um, but what you need to do is, have you got the date that Becky Alexander Frost first did it? 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so basically, it's everything that uh, it does so many things. I can't even begin to tell you. you there's nowhere for your uh, you do get a gubbins box here so you can keep the, 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 what, the feet that you're using at the time in there. But all of your feet arrive in this amazing box here. Um, all your feet come in here. You get three needle plates in this one. Three needle plates. You've got your buttonhole foot in there. Then you've got all of these feet. All I'll show you slides in a minute. All of these feet come with it. Everything you see in here, your walking foot, your jewel feet foot, your needles. You even have a, a thin walking foot and a fatter walking foot. Because you fit, oh, is it, I think it's all, no, hang on, I'll say that again. You get a walking foot, you can fit different feet on it for different sizes and for different jobs and things like that. That's for sewing your buttons on with. Um, the pedal is this one here. Now, you could just use it as a normal pedal, or you can, you can set it up so that this cuts your thread, does reverse all sorts of things like that. You do get the most incredibly huge um, extension table. Look. And it does come with little legs that you just fit on there. So if you need to store it away, you don't need to have the legs sticking out or folded down. The little, little legs just clip into there. Yeah, yeah, the most recent demonstration was the 23rd of December. Don't worry, don't wait. Uh, have you got a slide with what comes with it? That's, uh, that's more important there. Oh, no, no. Jesse, not ready. Look. Look at all of this that comes as standard. You don't have to look at the pictures, you'll be exhausted. Look, standard foot, rolled hem foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe, blind hem, overlock, quarter inch seam, quarter inch seam foot without quilting guide, closed toe darning, open toe darning, free motion quilting, closed toe. Free motion quilting, open toe, free motion quilting, zigzag. Variable zigzag, ruler work foot. Oh yeah, yeah, ruler work foot with it. So it makes it, you can use any rulers with this. Automatic buttonhole. Button sewing foot and dual feed foot A, D and holder wide type. There's more. Oh, okay, don't don't worry. There was, there's another one with all the, the needle plates and things like that on it. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Got the stitches here. There you go, so 350 stitches. Now it's a nine millimeter stitch with this one. 11 buttonholes, varial zigzag, knee lift controller, tapering function, ruler work, two additional alphabets, capital letters up to nine and numbers to nine millimeters. 1,060 stitches per minute, 91 variable needle positions, favorite stitch function, stitch composer software, and three MBs of built-in memory. There's also a, what's it on the side of here? What's that, what's that little USB port? There's a USB port on here as well. Uh, now, it's brilliant, isn't it? If you want to see it, though, watch Becky do it on Panda Day. 23rd of December. 23rd of December. She did do one before that. And I, oh, also, 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 if you go to um, YouTube and you type in Elna 780, there's a whole show of Jane opening the box and showing you what everything does. It does so much. I can't even start to tell you now. It does so much. It's absolutely brilliant machine, this. Uh, Becky adores hers, completely utterly adores hers. She really loves that tapering stitch that I just told you about then. £2,499, split pay five times. Well, it's £500 for five months, isn't it? This one's on five split pay because it's £2,499. Fantastico. Oh, we got an email from Ange. I absolutely adore my 780 plus. I can't tell you how much has increased my sewing enjoyment and improved my skills. New year, new skill. Yes, it is a considered purchase, but well worth every penny. There you go. Becky's first tutorial was excellent. I learned all sorts of things from it. Yeah. Uh, but, but by all means, put it put in YouTube. I'll just tell you, put in YouTube um, 780 Becky Alexander Frost and see what it brings up. Because she did a whole, it wasn't with me, it was with Vix the time before. She did a whole hour on it and she was absolutely brilliant. So brilliant. Right, shall we see tomorrow's menu? Oh, bless you. 
Right, it is fabulous fabric at eight o'clock. Ahead of the curve with Rebecca Harrison. I wonder what that is. Ahead of the curve with Rebecca Harrison. 10 o'clock is rest making tools and adjuster forms. Then 11 o'clock is the Georgie dress with Rebecca Harrison. And 12 o'clock, it's clearance. What day is it tomorrow? Wednesday. Clearance at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Now, who's on? Is it, is it Vic's on tomorrow then? Oh, I don't know who's on tomorrow. I'm presuming it's Vic's. Isn't that weird? Vic's tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I'm in on Thursday. Uh, so I'm off tomorrow. I'm in on Thursday. They're not in at the weekend at all. So join Vic's tomorrow with Rebecca. Rebecca is always fantastic to watch, isn't she, anyway? Um, and I'm going to go and find out what that above the curve is. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, thank you ever so much for your company today. Please make sure you check out on anything that's left in your baskets. Lots of sellouts today. Um, and I'll see you. Enjoy Vic's tomorrow. I'll be in on Thursday.